Loh, kita masuk loh orang. Dokter Nurul. Uh, and then uh, from Japanese, uh, South Korean, and all. And Westerners is actually called as low context culture, while in Asian is uh, called as high context culture. And the problem is that uh, several points of view, like from the Westerners and Asia, they have really stark contrast different. What are they? The very first one, uh, as we can see from the Westerner point of view, may think that Asians uh, are actually evasive. Uh, dishonest can uh, can take a stand and have no opinion in Christian by not dealing the issues directly. See, this actually happens in their mind. That's why uh, today's topic is really important. The topic that will be delivered by Dr. Mansur. That's why we will avoid this kind of things. And let's take a look uh, from Asian point of view. When Asians as high contact culture may think that Westerners of low contact cultures are actually insensitive, have no tech or worries, are in insulting, a harsh, in Christian dealing with issues in a direct manner. Why? Why this can happen in both of the parties? Because they don't know. They have clue, uh, They have no idea. They are clueless what happened actually between those country. Actually, there is no right, there is no wrong sides, but because we haven't learned yet. That's why this material is really, really important to start to uh, what is that make friends perhaps just a little step a baby step that shouldn't need to know therefore they can have a good friend with uh, people from different countries actually not for only westerners and also like american or european but but to our colleague to our friends in malaysia too they thought uh, they thought it as you uh dr mansur is actually a foreigner like really foreign even though we perhaps have a same a similar culture but what's on their mind is that they are foreigner, they are foreigner, and so yeah, this is like a big manifestation in their mind. And next is ah, this one, it is actually about the low contact and also high contact culture, in which a low contact shares is actually a direct one, like they are to the point, well, in a, a high context culture, they tend to be around the bus and uh not straight to the point they talk to one side and others and then yeah this is like the easy uh what is that uh illustration in which perhaps it is easier for students to understand about the low contact culture and high context culture in which low contact culture uh usually in a from north america in america and also european and the so-called westerner from the students while in indonesia whether they want to accept it or not they attend to what is that going around a circle in a really complicated way before they can actually ask something. As I told you previously, Dr. Mansur, that my students are actually really shy to ask you. That's why she tries to contact me first to talk to you. That's why, oh yeah, I know that this is our culture. Therefore, yeah, I hope that students uh, will know about themselves more by joining this class. And what could possibly go wrong? This is the, the most important one. The first one is misunderstanding. Of course, when the foreigners meet Indonesia, I believe that when they do not learn about their culture, so yeah, they will lose in space, they will lose in translation or yeah, uh, what is that? Miscommunication will be the main problem. While the second one is that hurt someone's feeling un un unintentionally. I believe that no one in this world want to hurt someone's feeling intentionally right so that's why a student really uh, student needs to know about this topic and then the last one is you will be considered as a heartless person no one want to be labeled as heartless person just because uh, they don't uh, they don't know or 
they don't know how to start the conversation politely or how to end it. So what you do? Remember, every culture and every situation has its high and low aspects. And individuals vary uh, within a culture and from one situation to another. The last is the topic that we'll talk about today in correlation with this uh, topic or the subjects. First, uh, already delivered by me, the reasons why we should know about how to begin and end conversation politely. And then the next one will be delivered by uh, our student, how to begin conversation politely in Indonesian settings. And then the third one, how to end conversation politely in Indonesian settings, why uh, they want to present in Indonesian settings only because uh, at this very moment, before they learn the material from Dr. Mansur, they will only perhaps get the idea about their culture only. So it is nice for them to understand their culture first and then uh, learn about uh, what is that? Uh, the general knowledge uh, that is actually widely, uh, what is that received or widely known in this world from Dr. Mansur, from the expert. And after explaining about their own culture, and it will be continued by Dr. Mansur in the main topic, how to begin and conversation politely. Because I always uh, tell my student that it is really important to know about your own culture first and then learn about uh, people's culture. Because how can you understand other culture if you don't even understand your own first? So yeah, I think those four topics for today, number one already conducted by me. So the second one, I will invite uh, Mr. Alf. Alfa, are you there already? Yes, I'm here. Okay, I will stop my screen. Thank you. Next, this is time for you, Mr. Alfa. So Dr. Mansur, please welcome my student, Alfa. So he'll, he'll try to start. His, uh, what is that mini, really short uh, presentation about three or four pages only about Indonesian culture in how to begin the conversation. Okay, Alpha, you can start now. Can you see the PowerPoint up there? Yes, of course. Please make it, uh, what is that, in a full screen? Can you, Alpha? Wait a moment. Okay. So Alpha is actually our first year student. So everyone who will present the material today is actually four year students, Dr. Mansur. So I hope that uh, uh, you will, what is that? <laughs> Excuse any, what is that? They are actually really shy to present in this international occasion, but I, I encourage them to do so. So yeah. First years is actually have courage to only like the seniors. No worries, no worries. It's a good it's a good opportunity for them actually, right? Yeah, first years is actually yeah. really new, but uh, I encourage them to do so. You have to be brave, guys. Okay, Alpha, you can start now. Okay, thank you very much. What is uh, Miss Widya said is true. Local people is always going somewhere before uh, <laughs> saying saying something, I mean, like, before he finished um, saying words, then he just going to some of us like, um, like what Miss Widya shared before this. So uh, thank you very much for the time. Um, can I say, there's a little problem here. Miss Miss Mansur. So Dr. Mansur, are you going? How was Malaysia? I'm good. I'm good. You are good here. Yeah, we are entering endemic since April. Is there, is there cold or uh, is there cold? In my office, yeah, okay. because we have this air condition. <laughs> but the weather is all same with Indonesia, I think. Ah, I see. Yes. Recently raining really wait up here. So yeah, um, I'm Alfa Ibrahman. So Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Good morning, everyone. I'm a student of University of Merdeka Malang. I'm from Bali. And before I'm explaining something, let me say thank you very much for Ms. Widya and Dr. Mansur to conduct this fantastic program. 
and welcome for everyone. I hope you enjoyed this class. Um, so I'm going to explain three comfort ways to start conversation in Indonesia. Uh, why it's safe ways? It's, it's a comfort ways because uh, maybe maybe you can say polite things or good things, but not comfort things. Because the problem are with problems were uh, were like you are introvert or um, you are shy to start the conversation. So here we go. Where does it? Why, why don't it change? Perhaps uh, you can uh, what is that? hit the next or the don't arrow. Okay. Same. Okay. So before you start the conversation, please understand the background first. I don't know if you are living in Malaysia or you are living in Java or you are living in Bali. So they are different cultures. And you have to understand, you should understand. If you can, if you are able to understand the cultures or the background, please understand first. Uh, for example, when you are coming to Bali and um, they are two classes of people, like upper and bottom classes. So uh, if you able to use the language, use the language, or you can if you if you uh, 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 say if you're not able to speak on the language, so don't speak on the language. And also, it's different when you talk with people older than you and younger. So especially for the body language, uh, in Japanese they don't look directly to eyes, so don't look eyes on eyes. If you are talk to older. So first thing is prop, pick a proper words. And also it's different when we talk to people, when we talk to the academician or we talk to people on the market. For example, when you uh, talk to people on the market, you use words, contribute, it would, wouldn't be effective because they don't understand what the meaning is. You can use words give instead of contribute. So pick a proper words and then avoid the bad words, of course. Uh, so your uh, say conversation will flow very comfortable after that. So here are what, sh what should you do when you start the conversation in Indonesia. The first thing is to not give any compliment. Why well, it's, it's, it's weird. It's based on my experiences. And um, when I was on a bus, can I tell a little bit story? When I was on a bus, I met mother next to me. So she sat next to me and uh, I tried to give a compliment on her bags. So what the result is, uh, I'm suspected as a hypnotizer or a tips. So just don't give any compliments based on my experience. It's not everyone, uh, it's not happened to everyone, but it depends on the cult. I put the disclaimers. It might be used for certain situation, depends on cultures where you live. So uh, it's not, uh, how to say that, uh, it's, it's not, uh, usually happen but it's for your safety just don't give any compliments on the start on the starter so when you start the conversation you can you can uh, give compliments but on the middle of the conversation the second is it's the points is the question to the points uh first thing you have to analyze where you are for example you are on the bus or you on a public space uh, after you analyze that you know that this bus is going to somewhere else or some place, and uh, maybe you can use this uh, the destination of the bus for the question. If you don't understand any question, like if you don't have any any idea, so just ask about uh, the destination. Like for example, remember uh, where you want to go. 
it's a good question and your conversation will smoothly flows because there will be uh, there will be answer and answer and then or or you can do small talk like um asking about weather but indonesian i i, I really find indonesian talk about weather but uh, it's good it's, it it can be used for uh for starting a coffee conversation a uh, small talk or you can ask about um maybe about oh where are you from uh, something like that so just hits the question to the point and the last is catch a moment. This is what I like. So catching a moment is like you built or you create a free free time that you can ask any question and your communication partner will accept uh, any question. For example, you you are shy to uh, get to know each other when in public place, for example. Uh, you're not confident to start the conversation. You can use this. You can catch a moment. Uh, you may, perhaps you pretend to lend as a, a lighter if you're a smoker. If you're not a smoker, you, you uh, may you can learn uh, lend, um, how to say pen or something. It's not uh, valuable for him, like not pricey. Because you are, you will be suspected as thieves again if you are, if you are uh, lending uh, something pricey. Uh, so when uh, second after you are lending a pen, and then you 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 will be free. Um, how to say? Uh, asking any question, asking any question. So uh, don't be shy. It's it's time to push your confidence. Uh, it's it's the time uh, to push your confidence. It's, it's, it's the second the second after you landing uh, a pen. So that what I call catch the moment. So those are three things that can you use for starting uh, a conversation if you feel shy or you are not confident or you don't have any idea to start conversation in Indonesia. So uh, actually I, I'd like to hear further from uh, me, uh, Dr. Mansur. So, thank you very much for the time, Dr. Mansur. Uh, class is yours. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Waalaikumsalam warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Thank you, Alpha. But perhaps before Dr. Mansur will explain about the knowledge that are really important to know by every everyone only uh, for the students. Uh, let's move on to Mr. Bayu uh, in delivering the material about how to end the conversation politely in Indonesian setting, of course, because uh, they still, uh, what is the learn about Indonesian setting first? Okay, are you ready, Mr. Bayu? Can you please make it into full screen? Okay, time is yours. And also Mr. Bayu is actually the first year student. Same goes to Mr. Alpha. Okay, you can start Bayu. All right, uh, so first of all, thank you very much for the place, Mrs. Vidya. Dr. Mansur, it's a great honor to be able to join your class right now. So how's it going, everyone? I hope it's a good day for all of us. So uh, continuing straight from Mr. Ofa's content, I'll be the one presenting about how we Indonesian and our conversation as politely as possible. My name is Bajendra Sukma. I'm a first year. So not really much to say. <laughs> Let's keep the introduction as brief as possible. We don't really have much. All right, let's get on straight. So before, uh, Ms. Vidya told us about how we, the Asian, were mostly really likes to beat around the bush and not go straight by the point. That is because in Indonesia, especially within the land of Java, we have a certain culture based around the act of Sumkan or acts based on reluctance. It doesn't matter if you're, if you're older or have a different ages or lives in lots of places or you know have other kind of social points that you might be able to differentiate we treat each and everyone the same as in with due respect this is notable especially against strangers and applies towards everything that we do including 
starting and ending a conversation. Now I say this within the within the land of Java because the Java island was, you know, not exactly the biggest, but has the tightest population. You know, I've seen and personally known a lot of people from lots of other islands, lots of other places moving to this place, certainly due to lots of political reasons way back, but Are you? Are you there? Yeah, I guess that you have some internet connection or an internet problem. By you? Okay, Dr. Mansur, while wait for by you to come back to uh, what is that present his presentation. First of all, I'd like to tell you about this uh, Sungkan culture. It is actually uh, what is that uh, Japanese culture in which people. Sorry, sorry. Yeah. Okay, really sorry. welcome back. It's uh, okay. It's okay. You know how okay. Indonesian internet goes. <laughs> yeah, you can. I, yeah, I have no excuse for that. So uh, let me back. Let me come back to the second slide. And uh, how do we do this exactly? So Can you please in... uh, make it into the previous slide. Okay. Are you okay? <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I, I'm really sorry, folks. I don't have any. No kind worries. Of... No worries. <laughs> this yeah. is just how Indonesian internet is. <laughs> so uh, uh, continuing back, hopefully, uh, we have this culture based around the act of Sankan. It doesn't matter if you have a different age, where you're older, if you place. I live in a lot of places, somewhere else we treat each and everyone the same as in with due respect. Notable, especially against strangers and applies toward everything that we do, including starting and ending a conversation. Now I've, now I say this is uh, from the land of Java. I'm sorry if I was repeating the question. We, I say this within the land of Java because Java, while not the biggest island in Indonesia, was certainly one of the most, one of the biggest, you know, Biggest in terms of population counts. I've seen and personally known a lot of folks moving from their place here and adopted this culture because it was just kinder. It was just a lot more polite compared to what they have back in their house. You know, no way in hell this, I'm sorry, no way this is represent the uh, Indonesian as a whole, but I'm sure that we all have this kind of culture, just not by the name of Sunkan itself. So how do we do this exactly? Well, generally, when we Indonesians were about to end a conversation, we'll do this. First, we wait until our partner is done with their sentence. You do not want to cut them straight by the middle, even if you have already known the person or the partner in chat that you have at home. It's rude. It's just rude. It's unpolite. You do not want to do that, you know. And even if we don't mean to be rude, those people might end up acquiring a different meaning as a whole. So the second one is we relate to their sentence for quite a bit and add some white lie to prepare to close the topic. Now, by relating, we are continuing the topic. We knew that we were about to go off and they might knew that we we're about to be off. So we continue the topic, but with full knowledge that we're about to close this sentence once and for all. And adding some white lie is quite common. It is just very common for us to like lie for quite a bit, you know, just to close the topic, we don't meant to lie in the person as in to deceive them, but we were just here to properly close the topic itself. You know, it's just a good gesture. We do not want to hurt their feelings as in based on the culture itself. So we added some white lie. Do not want to overdo that, but it happens. The third, we expressed our gratitude and our desire to continue to chat another time. Now, you don't have to specify when where or how we'll continue to chat. This is just a formality at this point in time because we're about to go, we're about to do our own business and this has been taking too long. So you know what? We express our gratitude and our decide to continue to chat another time. Once again, another good gesture to not hurt the feeling of the man. So finally, we excuse ourselves as polite as possible. The general rule, the general recipe for the scenario is some of these. First, menyatakan rasa senang or expressing our happiness to have this chat. Second one, we expressed our sorry. We expressed our sorry because we want to leave, minta maaf kita mau pergi. And number third, we also add another minta maaf karena telah mengganggu kesibukan orang lain. Not always done, 
It's just a general recipe, but for a semi-formal to formal scenario, this has happened. This is what we do alongside the, you know, salam perpisahan. Now, words and phrases that we usually use to close is mari, monggo, permisi, and nuun sewu. Nuun sewu is exclusive to the Japanese, you know. <laughs> but yeah, that is one of the most polite words that you could use. So example sentences and act upon. We don't really have much in this example sentences. So one of them is senang berkenalan dengan anda. Sampai jumpa lagi. Nice to know you. Let's meet again soon. Another one, another semi-formal one. Saya harap kita dapat bertemu kembali. Mari atau monggo. And hopefully we'll be able to meet again soon. And another example is an example of the white lie that I said in the previous slide. Baiklah, saya jin pamit dulu ya. Rasanya seperti akan hujan. I should be going now. Looks like the sky is getting dark. It's not exactly clear if the sky is going to be rainy or not in this kind of scenario, but you know what? It's just a good measure. And then finally, uh, we have this non-formal, you know, in between friends and pals. Yo lah, saya pulang dulu ya, men. Semoga beruntung dan sehat selalu sebabmu. All right, I'll be up then. Good luck and all the best of you, men. Yeah. So alongside this, we also have some additional acts that we do. Aside of the sentence on the left, we usually also do little actions to complement the sentence, such as shaking hands, you know. Not to harden, shaking hands. It's always shaking hands. Whether you are with the older man or with a pal, as old as you are, with your relatives, if you're about to end a conversation, we mostly do this, shaking hands. While shaking hands, we also do slightly bow our head down, especially against older person. Just another good gesture. Alongside us too, we also have, uh, we also give them a warm smile. It doesn't matter if the topic or if the words, the person was, you know, as annoying as they could, or the topic was quite not very good in your heads, you do not want to be seen as, you know, being in this not uncomfortable zone. Once again, the culture of Sunkan said, we do not want to hurt the person. You, you want it to be as polite as possible. So alongside those two, shaking hands and slightly pulling our heads down, we also gave them a warm smile. And finally, just to close the top, yet another good gesture, we added an additional mongo. You already said it already. Mongo mas guys, saya akan mari dulu. Please excuse me, I was about to offer. You said another mongo, just, just the top of the case, you know. You said it already, you said it twice maybe by the time at this point, but you also said another mongo before you walked off just as the topping, just the cherry on top, and yet another good measure for one's head. It doesn't really have much. So this is it. We don't really do much. Uh, we really do love beating around the bus, even if we're about to end our conversation. So that is just, you know, generally we do not want to hurt the feeling of our partner in time or partner in chat. As uncomfortable as the person, nor the topic, nor the places as a whole, nor the situation, it doesn't matter. You do not want to be seen hoarding the situation, hoarding their feeling. You want it to be as polite as possible. So that's about it. Thank you for thank you for the time. Once again, I'm really sorry for the technical uh, technical situation going around. I don't really have any reason to do that. So hopefully this is useful. And uh, Dr. Mansur. Thank you once again for time and places. It's it's a really it's really a big honor for me to be able to do this kind of presentation for me as a whole. So yeah, thank you, Miss Vidya and Dr. Mansur. We're back to you. Wow, that's really awesome. You know that you already delivered a gift representation of Indonesia culture. But uh, as I told you guys, you need to put disclaimer in every student's presentation that this is actually not the representation of all Indonesian culture because as we know that Indonesia has like a multiple culture and not only multiple, but hundreds perhaps. But uh, as Bayu already said, and also all for this like Java and also Bali and other what is the most populated uh, island in this Indonesia is actually like the melting pot in which uh, several cultures meet here and there and therefore they have like uh, what is that several uh, 
culture or customs uh, in Java. That's why mostly students will use uh, Java as uh, the representation of Indonesia. But it doesn't mean that every Indonesia will behave that way. And I will give conclusion about how to start or how to begin and end conversation politely in Indonesian settings only, because in a, a common or general knowledge, we will have Dr. Mansur to explain it. And I will sum up like uh, three uh, methods or on how to start conversation politely in Indonesian setting. The first one is to not give compliment because some of the students actually, uh, what is the experience, this kind of a bad, uh, uh, bad pass. Uh, they are actually suspected as someone suspicious, like they are going to uh, steal something from that person because just because they try to compl give compliment about the bag, perhaps a nice cute, uh, some of them are actually really what is that having a really uh, negative thoughts perhaps that they actually want to steal their purse or their bags so yeah uh, based on the what is the experience from uh, our students that do not start to give compliment especially if you are foreigners or if you don't know each other but you can also uh, you can always give compliment once when you already know them quite well Second one is small talk, and I, I believe that small talk is not only applicable in Indonesian culture or in Indonesian setting, but also perhaps in uh, other foreign country as well, perhaps in Malaysia that we don't know yet. And number three is catch a moment, and that's really uh, actually nice uh, ideas, uh, because sometimes we try to find like, uh, what is that? silver lines that something that can connect connecting the dots between us and also our speaking counterparts trying to find something in common and uh, how to end uh, what is that the conversation politely in indonesian setting is that uh, the first one is wait until they finish their uh, what is that talking uh, I mean, in Indonesia, we are really what is that reluctant. Uh, we have this sunkan culture in Japanese, especially that we are afraid to hurt someone's feeling. Therefore, we will wait even though to actually talk in really long. Uh, what is that uh, talking or speech that we will wait because it is really rude in our culture to cut someone's when they are actually talking. And then the second one is that this is actually unique white lie because most of the people in Indonesia actually tend to lie uh, instead of uh, what is that tell the truth that they actually need to perhaps eat to drink or perhaps go to the toilet they tend to lie that oh i have a class to attend therefore uh, i guess that we have to stop the conversation here or perhaps we can continue in a whatsapp or others they cannot or they don't want to be or oh, what is that to be rude by saying i'm hungry actually i have to go no they tend to lie to what is that to not in order to not hurt someone's feeling and number three is that express gratitude and continue uh, what is that a plan to chat or perhaps to talk in a WhatsApp or other platforms. Uh, I guess that number three is actually applicable not only in Indonesian setting, but also in other culture as well. The last is Lahya saying like a farewell and also uh, as by you also uh, already explained that Indonesia is really hard to end conversation, even though they already said goodbye or I have to go. Sometimes we just still, oh, what is that? Continue small talk until it finally can end. Someone need to stop it because if someone do not stop the chat, they will go on, uh, go on and on. So that's just our culture. That's our people. So yeah, I think that's all Dr. Mansur from our culture. So we would like to hear about uh, the concept, uh, how to begin and how to end conversation politely in more general way in which will be accepted whenever we go, perhaps if someday they will get uh, accepted in some scholarship approach that they can adjust to the culture uh, wherever they are. Because the thing that we need to know, not only our culture, on the Indonesian culture, but also we have to know the culture of other people as well, because that's the key of success to live abroad. Okay, thank you, Dr. Mansur. Uh, this is your time, so feel free to use uh, anytime you want, uh, whatever, uh, what is that duration you want, because I'm sure that my student want to ask uh, several questions too, not the hard one, just how to, what is that, engage with people actually. Thank you, time is yours, Dr. Mansur. All right, thank you very much uh, to um, Ms. Widya and also Mr. Alpha and Mr. Bayu. And you have done a very great job. I think um, uh, Ms. Widya is quite worried with uh, your, your presentation or maybe, you know, quite worried with uh, how you're going to present. 
uh, I think last week she she contacted me and saying that you know um, uh, this is a, a first year student, first semester one student, whatnot. But I think both of you have done a great job, and I think um, not only um, I believe that not only by Mr. Bai you and Mr. Afwa have this kind of talented presentation skills, but also I think most of your students, Miss Vidya, All right? Um, uh, can you see my screen right now? Is it? Uh... Yes, crystal clear. Uh, okay, all right. Uh, all right. Okay, so I think based on uh, Miss Yudia, Mr. Bayou, and Mr. Afa's presentation just now, I think you guys have done, I have, have settled my job. Yeah, we can, we can call it a, a, a day uh, because uh, some of or most of your, your things that you have uh, been presenting and discussed are, are very similar or uh, quite, uh, um, you know, related to what I'm going to share with you. All right. Um, so um, just that maybe uh, for my presentation, I would like to add a certain things, what not, you know, give, give from my, my opinion or my perspective, especially on the culture part, yeah? Uh, talking about this uh, conversation, uh, of course, it really closely related to the culture and also the language of the, of the certain, certain people or what we are talking about now. All right, so this is a little bit about me. Um, so if you, Malaysia is very small uh, compared to Indonesia, I believe. Yeah. Uh, so I am from here, the pink, the pink state there, Kedah. Okay. So uh, Alusta is the is the um, what you call that ibu negeri for 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 Kedah. But I am uh, right now, you are at Kedah is situated in Sungai Petani. So Sungai Petani is uh, somewhere here near to Penang. Uh, all right. So I uh, just want to put my picture. Actually, I just have been my um, I settled my doctorate uh, academic journey uh, back in 2021, but because of this pandemic, I, I ended me uh, the convocation. I just had my convocation two weeks ago, so the picture is still is still new. So I said, like, okay, lah, just put you know to to, to share with your students uh, in Indonesia. You guys can achieve that too, yeah. I think everyone can achieve, you know, uh, whatever that you want to be. Go ahead. If you want, I always have this kind of principle uh, for me uh, that I will you know hold tightly. If you want to learn, no one can stop you. But if you don't want to learn, no one can stop you too. Uh, you know, so because you are the one who decide, uh, the, who decide for you whether you want to learn or not. If you want to learn, no one can stop you. You know, just, just keep going. It's a matter of time. Of course, challenges are everywhere, but that one, uh, all the challenges won't stop you actually. Once you decide that you want to learn, to study and to finish your study. Okay, my... my um, the university is in Penang, uh, so that's why one of the reasons why I choose to study in Penang, uh, I learned there, yeah, because of uh, it's quite near to my to my hometown. So of course, when it comes to uh, postgraduate, you know, so uh, this the the there's a um, the length or the area, the, the locality, the location of the university is very important um, uh, for 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 us the adult learners, yeah. Okay, uh, so today. Um, just want to share with you um, what is politeness. So basically, uh, I am more on sharing on uh, Western culture, not because of, uh, I think because of we are focusing more on English language, right? So like I said, when we talk culture and, and language is very closely related. So you're talking about politeness or we're talking about uh, in, in English setting, we cannot run away from, uh, from the culture or the race of English people themselves. Huh? So that's why we have sometimes have to bear in mind. And of course, I agree with uh, Mr. Alpha, Mr. Bayou, and also Ms. Vidya just now that uh, I think if you were to put disclaimer, uh, each situation you have to put a uh, disclaimer to all situations because sometimes um, the, the culture uh, or the way we, we react, the way or the words that you are saying is not, um, you know, uh, uh, for example, sometimes if I tell, some, uh, because I cover this, this topic also to my students yeah, as a communication skills, right? So sometimes I know when I take a look, uh, when I share the certain phrases or when I say that, oh, you have to do this, sometimes the, the students are like, really? You can do that? Uh, you know, so because it's also not part of our culture. But I think along the way, uh, we can learn, you know, slowly adapt, adapt to the culture, adapt to the language that you are going to use. So uh, what is politeness? Why you need to be polite? Uh, and then you're going to focus on conversation and talking about conversation right now because, um, because of the changes of, or because of the advancement and technology. If 20 years ago or 30 years ago, uh, when we talk about conversation, 
uh, we we don't even imagine yeah I in Kedah Malaysia and then you are in uh, Malang Indonesia we we don't imagine that we're having this conversation like this right Miss Tia uh, and then same like you know WhatsApp uh, webinar like this so the, the the definition of the conversation already changed to both spoken and written because of this WhatsApp uh, Telegram um, you know Instagram and all these social media social networking sites yeah. So uh, again, um, the, the main focus, how to begin conversation politely, how to end conversation politely. And I'm going to share a little bit on politeness in Malaysian setting. Uh, I think there are certain similar parts. Yeah? Uh, there are similarities. And also, um, I open for the q and session. But of course, along the way, yeah, throughout of my presentation, if you were to have any question, uh, you are welcome to ask directly to me. No problem. Yeah, And I don't know whether we have time or not. Uh, uh, I already prepared quizzes, you know, just, um, just for fun. Uh, basically, the quizzes questions is based on what my lecture is about. So uh, hopefully that you stay tuned. Uh, and um, I take a little bit of note uh, when I'm giving um, this uh, presentation. So at least hopefully that you can you can ask questions, uh, answer the questions in the quizzes later on, yeah, inshallah. Okay, um, so basically what is politeness, you know? So uh, I don't know whether I can see chat or not. All right. So can can all of you or you know yeah all of you there are one hundred some you know uh, more than one hundred just give me or share with with um, you know just write in the chat box. Um, it doesn't matter whether in English or Indonesian language no problem. Um, what what do you understand when we say about politeness or what is politeness mean to you? Okay, anyone. <laughs> What is politeness to you? It doesn't matter, you know, then uh, 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 this is shy. Yeah, yeah, can they just, uh, what is that, say it, Dr. Mansur, perhaps? Uh, yeah, sure, no problem. Okay. If you want to see it, also no problem. Anyone want to, to write in the chat box, also no problem. Okay, please raise your hand. Either or. Okay, I guess that it is easier for you guys to talk instead of write. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. We will try to answer what politeness is. Ah, yeah. Okay. You don't have to say it. Okay, cinta. Okay, cinta. Hello, na. Okay. So, what do you think about the politeness? What politeness? I think what what, what is politeness? Politeness is behavior that is respectful and considerate of other people. Correct. Yeah. Thank respectful you. and considerate of other people. Yes. The word uh, respect and also considerate. Yes. Okay. Let's have another one. Uh. Before before we continue, what politeness mean to you? Uh, when I say okay, you have to be polite. So what uh, come across to your mind? Irna, I think. Uh, uh, politeness is showing good manners to others. Yes, correct, correct. Yeah, uh, showing good manners to to others. Yes, correct. Yeah. So, um, yes, I think being polite. Um, everyone also know that. Oh, we are. Uh, I think everyone also have the similar side of idea where politeness means that um, you know show respect, uh, respect other people, uh, regard other people's feelings. So yeah, in general, that is politeness. Yeah. So um, it's not moving. Yeah. I have to go out. Okay. Uh, let's. Okay, so what is politeness? So talking about politeness in general, so in terms of, if you can click at the dictionary, so uh, politeness means that um, marked by an appearance uh, of consideration, tech, difference, or courtesy. Um, so what is consideration? So I think someone said the word consideration just now. So we consider about the people's uh, situation. Yeah, we consider, oh, uh, she is talking. We consider that, oh, she's the one who, uh, who asking the question. I should ask the question, I should answer. Okay, and then tech. Uh, what is the meaning of tech? Tech means the um, skill and also sensitivity in dealing with others uh, that were closely related to consideration. So tech here, not only that you're having the skills, but also you are having the sensitivity, you know, so you know that, oh, uh, she is in a rushing, so let, let her let her go for, uh, let her go first, for example, or she is in, she is talking, we should listen to her, or she's asking questions, we should answer her. So that is the tech here. Uh, difference means that um, 
we know the difference between, uh, for example, if we know that, oh, we are talking to the lecturer, so of course, the way we speak to the lecturer is different or academician. Uh, or later on, we want to talk to our friends. So the way we talk to our friends also will be different with the way we talk to, to the lecturer just now. It will be the same thing, you know? Uh, so we we know how to differentiate between different situations. So that is the uh, differ there. And of course, uh, courtesy uh, to show the politeness. So if we have all this politeness, so we have this kind of uh, courtesy to, um, uh, to, 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 to show our politeness, yeah? So of course, in terms of um, linguistic parts, is um, as the ways um, uh, in which language is embedded in conversation. And um, like I said just now, when we are uh, in terms of the linguistic part or the language part, when we talk about the politeness, we cannot run away from the culture and the rules for what society expect us to do. So usually this kind of politeness is coming from the uh, older generation uh, to us, you know, that is passed by from generation to generation. Uh, until now so we lead by example you know we see our parents oh this is the way she talks uh, to to her sister or, or this is the way our father talked to his friend so we tend to follow because that is our culture okay but of course talking about this politeness it, it, it sometimes it's changed you know uh, because of this uh, um, different culture that embedded or influence from other culture especially in, in the western yeah so of course uh, why we need to be polite uh of course um because we, we are going to communicate with people you know so the first thing first when we communicate with people we want to put other people at ease you know we want you want to make people comfortable uh with us you want to make them be pleasant talking to us. So that's why you need to be polite, you know, rather than if you say vulgar words, you know, if you um, address the person, uh, you know, um, impolitely, so they will feel, uh, you know, discomfort. They don't like to talk to us. So of course, you have to, to make uh, people, people uh, uh, other people at ease. And of course, uh, number two, improve our relationships with others. So maybe this is the second time, for example, the situation, uh, is the second time, this is the second time um, we, we, we meet each other. So maybe last time you were in the rushing, you know, or maybe you have leave the bad impression to the people. So you know that, oh, you have like, you know, to, to improve, you have to show that uh, you are not that person actually, but because you were in the rushing last time, so you have like to go out quickly and whatnot. So this time around, you have to, you know, you have like to improve relationship with others, you know, to, 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 to some sort of repair uh, the relationship. And of course, at the same time, if you realize that uh, when was the first time, or if the first time you meet the person, you are still, um, you know, uh, considered a stranger, and then your relationship are not are not improving yet, just just as a stranger. So that's why by being polite, you can improve, you know, from being stranger to the friend, and then from friend to a close friend, because through what through politeness, of course, you know, having chemistry and whatnot. That is another story, but through language, through our communication, actually. And then number three, help to build respect and rapport. So um, being polite uh, is actually one of the way for us to build our rapport and, and respect. You know, we need to, to trust the respect from others by being polite. And uh, we also, uh, and the other person who are going communicating also, you know, we also will, will get the respect, uh, you know, from, from us. And of course, uh, boost our self-esteem and confidence. So by being polite, because being polite is the only option that we have actually, you know, because we cannot be impolite. Uh, you know? So uh, of course, by being polite and do what uh, do correctly or do we in the right way, everything will be, you know, uh, if we are doing, if we are being polite, it means that we automatically will boost our self-esteem and confidence, you know, because we know that we have been given uh, the positive impression uh, to the person. And the last one is, uh, of course, from time to time, of all overall, we are going to improve our communication skills. Yeah? And I like the word improve because um, if you see me right now, you know, can talk to you, you know, sharing my knowledge with you, you know, uh, in front of you, of course, uh, the way I speak right now will be different if you see me or if we met 10 years ago. Or maybe if you uh, see me 10 years ago, you will say, is that you? You know, the way, from the way I talk, from the way I speak. Because why? Because from time to time, we are improving. We are learning. 
Okay, so that's why uh, I always have this, uh, my students will tell that, oh, how, how to be good as you, as you know, uh, uh, how to be good, uh, how to be good in speaking, how to be good, uh, a good communicator. I said, practice. There's no way, you know, I don't wake up suddenly, or I, I was not born uh, suddenly speaking English with my family. No, I, you know, I speak Malay. Malay is my first, first, first language, yeah. So speaking. So that's why uh, there's no other way to improve rather than you, you practice, including the politeness things that you are, we are discussing right now. So maybe if you see me 10 years ago, maybe I'm not being polite enough. You know, I don't know how to do small talk. I don't know what to say when I see Miss Lydia for the first time just now. Yeah, so because we are improving. So um, girls and guys, the students, don't worry if you think that, oh, I'm not that good. Don't worry, yeah? You are, you are doing fine. But of course, at the same time, you have like to keep improving. I, you don't say that, oh, I, I'm not good. And then because I said that, oh, I say, okay. Uh, 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 Miss Shazoni said, uh, you are improving, but you're not, you're not practicing. No, yeah? But of course, at the same time, you have to practice uh, from time to time, yeah? And you will get there somewhere. All right, so of course, politeness will closely relate to conversation or communication. So let's take a look what is conversation. So conversation um, is a, a talk between two or more people in which between thoughts, you know, we share. So what is conversation in general? So we is between uh, two percent or more when we see each other and then we share our thoughts, you know, what we think. We share our feelings, for example, oh, oh, you know, I feel sad today. Oh, I feel so excited uh, to share my, my knowledge with you uh, today, for example, you know, our feelings. Ideas, oh, oh I have an idea. What about uh, this weekend we go to, to, to Bali, for example, I you know somewhere, some place to visit. Or let's go to the beach. Where is the nearest beach uh, in, in this weekend? Ideas, you know, you express your ideas. Questions and, and ask, yeah. Uh, for example, if you, later on, if you want to buy, um, Nasi ayam penyet. Oh, I love nasi ayam penyet. Okay, so if you want to go uh, after this webinar, you want to go to buy nasi ayam penyet. So even, even uh, you know, the, the process of selling and buying also is a conversation actually. But of course, it's a short conversation. Or oh, nasi ayam penyet satu, for example. And then the, 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 the seller will ask, okay, bungkus atau makan di sini, something like that. Uh, you know, so that is actually a conversation because you're asking question, you are requesting something. News, okay, or have you uh, have you watched news uh, last night, or do you know, or have you heard about the incident, you know, accident, or uh, uh, 10 of them pass away, so it's news and information. So in a way, conversation is a between, uh, uh, conversation is actually, uh, you know, once you see each other, you start talking, that is conversation already, okay. And talking about the conversation, conversation is part of the communication, and uh, this communicating is the imparting of, um, because the, the, if you see the definition is quite closely related, right? Um, so communicating is imparting or exchanging of information, but of course communication, we have this kind of uh, speaking, writing, or using some other medium. But right now, because of, like I said just now, you know, the, the investment of technology, people are also having conversation uh, through, through written, you know, WhatsApp, Telegram. So in a way, conversation and communicating is quite similar in terms of the definition there, yeah, in terms of that. So that's why um, if I were to give this lecture 10 years ago, I wouldn't have this kind of particular slide that, uh, that right now, you know, because uh, right now, uh, back, I think 20 years ago, conversation is just like, you know, face to face. That's it. You know, we don't even have this kind of uh, imagination that, oh, uh, spoken also can be done through in front of the laptop, in front of the PC right now, yeah? So conversation can be divided into uh, two medium or two, um, two methods, which are, of course, spoken and written, yeah? Uh, written, sorry, speaking, writing. So, and talking about speaking, um, both are very important actually because of nowadays uh, situation, yeah, especially for students, you know, when you need to, to text or when you need to speak to your, to your lecturer or to your uh, to the academician, um, uh, even though you, you guys are at your home, your lecturer at the campus, for example, still uh, spoken is very important. Uh, and talking about the spoken, um, there are two things that you need to, uh, to aware that uh, in terms of the verbal and non-verbal. So what is verbal? Verbal is the word, you know, the word that you are using. So verbal, the language that we are using, uh, that is verbal. What about non-verbal? Non-verbal is the gesture, the non-words, yeah? So what is the non-verbal? Uh, hand gesture, eye contact, yeah? Uh, the way if you if you see uh, people in front, uh, you know, the way you, the way you stand, uh, the way you sit, 
uh, you know, uh, so that is non-verbal. And um, written, of course, written, uh, it could be email, yeah, if you are sending the assignment to the lecturer, uh, um, email, and also, of course, WhatsApp, um, Telegram, yeah, uh, Facebook, yeah, because uh, when you post something on, I think I'm using more on using Facebook, but I don't know, I don't know about, about uh, younger generation in Indonesia, are you guys... Uh, in Malaysia, younger generation like you guys, we don't use Facebook anymore. So if I said giving Facebook as an example, they said, uh, uh, Miss, we don't even have a Facebook account. So, uh, oh, okay, so maybe you guys have TikTok or, or Telegram, uh, sorry, uh, Instagram or, or Twitter. Yeah, regardless of whatever platform it is, but that one is more on, on written, yeah, uh, because you are like, you are having conversation. You post something uh, and then someone will reply to you. So you are having conversation actually, yeah. Same like email, of course. When you're sending an email to, to someone, they reply. So that is actually a conversation. Okay, so the question is how to be polite. Yeah, so um, sometimes when we uh, take a look at the person and then the person reacts uh, impolitely, or we say that, hey, this, uh, hey, what's wrong with the person? Uh, she should be more polite, for example. Having this conversation, yeah, um, or if you are meeting new people, or if you are, you know, if you are seeing each other, um, you can have this kind of guidelines, yeah, guidelines for, uh, for you to to have this kind of conversation with with other people, yeah. So number one is the reason of speaking, why you need to see the person, why you speak, uh, okay, the reason behind it. Number two, the content. So what do you want to talk to the person? Are you asking for uh, information, or are you, or are you are the one for giving information or share information to the people? Okay, or what? What uh, the contents? What do you want to to, try, to tell or to talk to the person? And number three is who is the listener? Okay, so is the listener is your friend, or is the listener is your lecturer or academician, or maybe some stranger for the first time? Yeah, or a grab driver for example, or Gojek driver for example. Okay, so you have to know who is the listener. And once you identify who the listener is, of course, it will differentiate the, uh, or it will tell you the ways of speaking. So if you are talking to the lecturer or instructor or academician, of course, uh, hello, good morning. Uh, so you, you, you're like aware already, you know, even if you're texting through WhatsApp or hello, good morning, Miss Vidya. Uh, okay, uh, uh, sorry to interrupt you at the early in the morning. Uh, so rather than you texted your friend, Hey, uh, you know, you directly hear, sometimes not even the word hey, you know, so even me myself also, because um, that is determined who our listener is, yeah, um, uh, and then, then only we talk about the context of the speech, yeah, so um, is it through written, is it through spoken, uh, yeah, so, uh, and then the words that you are using, sometimes you are using short form, you know, uh, regards, for example, regards R E G R D S, but maybe because of uh, she is our friend or he is our friend, we just uh, using R G D S short form. Yeah, no problem because the context is our friend. Uh, you know, so uh, uh, she or he already know. Uh, we we are already close with our friends. Okay, so this one also. Um, next we go. So once we know who are we going to talk to and the context, so. This is basically to prepare yourself, yeah? Uh, and also for introvert, also no problem. So you can use this open body language, yeah? So that's why, but I think um, Mr. Alfa said just now, um, talking about this eye contact, uh, I don't know, uh, which which person, yeah? Uh, we, we didn't see the, the, the people's uh, eye directly, right? Uh, because that is considered good. Yeah, which is, uh, that's why, uh, like we said, sometimes we have like to put disclaimer to the certain culture. Um, so number one is we use open body language. So what is open body language? Open body language is like you you show that you are ready to listen to the person. Uh, you know, so uh, for example, your hand here, you, you don't we don't put you know we don't put like um uh, to show you know, you know we don't put or we don't close our arm because 
closing our arms shows that we are not welcoming uh, the speaker or we are not we are not interested uh, to what she or he is saying. Yeah, uh, even though uh, maybe you say, oh, but it's cool. I, I, I'm holding like this because it's cool. But actually, uh, according to the Western culture, yeah, uh, according to many culture, this, this shows that it's a closed body language. It means that you're not interested uh, to listen to the person. Uh, so be careful. Or if you are crossing, you know, if you are sitting at the cafe, uh, you're crossing your leg, you know, you put a, one of your leg or your right leg uh, onto your, your left leg, for example, you know, you're crossing, you know, your leg like this. Um, it shows a close body contact also. It shows that you are not interested. You are like sending the message uh, that you are not uh, interested uh, to the person. Uh, so that's why you have to be very careful. That's why sometimes when I tell my students, they say, but uh, Miss, uh, I, I do that because I've, I've cool. You know, the, the classroom is cool. So I was like, ah, because they don't know. So that's why I said that you have, you have to learn. So, so how to do that? So what if you really cool, but at the same time, you're interested? Always tell the person that you are talking. I'm sorry, Miss. It's not that I'm not interested, uh, you know, talking to you, but I feel cold right now. I don't, I don't, and I don't, I'm not wearing jacket or I don't wear jacket to the class, uh, you know, so I, I'm interested for sure. Uh, you tell, you tell the person that uh, your body language is not what the message implies, okay? And then number two, uh, actively listen, you know, uh, show that you are listening to the person, all right? Um, you are prepared. You put away your, your, your phone, for example, you put away whatever that you are doing you know, and you focus uh, on the person. Yeah. Uh, so uh, I think active listening is very hard to do that because to do this nowadays, because of we have this, uh, you know, our smartphone with us. So 24 hours, sometimes you say that, okay, keep talking, I'm listening. And then you, you know, and then the person is, but actually you're not paying attention to the person. You know, you are, you are reading, you are, you are maybe replying the WhatsApp to the person and whatnot. So that is showing that it's, not, it's a passive listener actually. So I know it's very hard, you know, it's very hard to do this nowadays, but Please try, try to you know to put away whatever that you are doing right now uh, to listen to the uh, focus actively to the person who are speaking. And number three, um, have confidence. So how to have confidence? Um, I think one of the way to have confidence is by observing. By observing how people talk. You know how. Um, of course, I think we in our life um, we will. Individually, we will have at least maybe one or two percent that we are looking up so high to see that oh, it's so good. Uh, if you can talk about, uh, you know, if you can talk um, like him, oh, it's so nice uh, talking. You know, uh, able to talk about about the person. Uh, you know, about anything that uh, have been asked. So take that as your role model. Uh, you know, so take that as uh, as the person that you want to be later on. So once you take the person as a role model, then you know that oh, so you you closely observe you know the um, the the words that she or he is using, the behavior, the way you know the hand gesture, how how he play or she play with the hand gesture, and then later on you see the person. Um, um, met new person or so how they begin with a small talk uh, all right so that is actually how you build your confidence yeah and another way to to have this confidence is um why we feel lack of confidence uh you have to go back to the reason why we feel lack of confidence so people will feel lack of confidence because we we thought that um the person that you are going to meet is maybe superior than us Oh, uh, oh, she uh, is he, he or she is older than us. Uh, oh, I am so scared. Or she is the lecturer and whatnot. So try to minimize, you know, or eliminate all the, the thoughts, you know, because for example, maybe you feel scared to, to see your lecturer for the first time, but you do know that your lecturer is so helpful. You know, she or he is waiting for you. She or he already want to help you, yeah? You know, as educator, I believe that you really want help to help our students. But what what were you thinking only is just scared oh i'm scared that i wrongly speak no you don't you you shouldn't be worried about that you know you just focus on what you're going to, to say later on and of course begin with small talk like i like mr afar just now i think uh, you know i start with a small talk because um 
that small talk will actually build our confidence and and comfortable so maybe for the first time you you feel nervous but after you know having this kind of a we call this small chit chat or, or small talk with the person then uh we will feel less nervous okay but that's the problem like miss vidya said just now we are having problem to stop or to end our small talk and then go into the second uh, to the main task that we should do that's the problem i think our malaysian culture also having that kind of problem next slide uh, let me see. okay so to give you the idea of uh the small talk here okay uh i just want to go so maybe some of you are still uh you know uh, wondering what is small talk actually so basically small talk is uh like uh, mr alpha said just now yeah is a polite conversation about unimportant or uncontroversial matters uh, so we begin with that you know especially as engaged in on social occasion so like just now I don't know, maybe um, for those who uh, just not like Mr. Alpha, you know, when she, when he want to he want to present just now, he asked me, so how are you, Dr. Man? So how's everything in Malaysia? So that is actually the example of small talk. Yeah, you, you guys are, are good at it. So that is actually small talk. We ask, we ask the person, yeah, how, how are you? How's everything in Malaysia and whatnot? So so what is our small? So what can you ask? Or what are the things that you can begin your conversation with? So number one is you ask for the information, uh, you know, so uh, anything that uh, related information, you know, because I think asking question uh, is one of the good example, because if we ask question, that person must be uh, or have to answer us. So she or he has no choice. He has to answer us. So you ask for information. What time is it? For example, okay, oh, what time? Oh, I didn't wear watch. What time is it? Or oh, oh, 11 30 or oh, okay okay thank you uh, so that is actually you you having the conversation already with the person yeah number two pay a, a compliment uh, but this one also uh, like miss vidya said if people are giving a compliment we are worried with uh, with our belongings because they might be you know uh you know uh eyeing our 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 bags or our our clothes for example um one of the way is we compliment the person she or himself yeah, for example, I like your haircut. Oh, I like your scarf. Or for example, I like your I, I like your look today. Or for example, you look green today. Yeah, but yeah, I have to put disclaimer also because um uh, maybe we in uh, Malaysia and Indonesia also have the similar thing. Yeah, um, pay a compliment is not. Uh, I'm not saying that not suitable, but uh, we in Eastern especially yeah we we are not um comfortable in receiving the compliment yeah so i have this uh, my lecturer shared with me this uh, a small research that she has done you know to, uh, uh, her research is about uh, she wants to see uh, how people react to the compliment uh, you know um, especially in malaysian setting but the research cannot be published because of the ethical law, you know, because uh, if you want to publish the research, you have to get the consent from the, the person involved. But this one is just like a social experiment like that. So what uh, what this group do is they they uh, because the research has been done in University of Science Malaysia, yeah, in one of the university. So they they go to uh, like a office, small office, like you know, like a bursary or treasurer office, and then what they do is they uh they just give compliment oh you look healthy today and then when they see one person coming they say you look great today oh uh, uh for example in bahasa Melayu, kata, oh nampak happy hari ini ya you know uh oh nampak sihat hari ini uh, uh, uh nampak ceria hari ini so all that kind of words so what happened was in in malaysian setting or especially in malay culture when people give compliment to us we tend to give reasons for that uh, even though you know when when the person yeah, when we do the research we didn't we don't know what what the cause we just say oh you look happy today but we don't know why we don't know if that is actually the real face that's what is happening every day but we just you know we just find them oh you look happy today and then the person always come up with the reason oh yeah uh, tadi hari ni uh, apa uh, anak uh, anak saya tak buat perangai you know uh, my kids didn't didn't be like do tantrum like at the very uh, morning and then if let's say we see the the lady oh cantik tu do you know uh, nice nice uh, scarf and then the lady will say oh scarf baru you know so if we see another person saying that oh um nampak sihat hari ni and they say oh ya ke oh ya yeah, baru lepas breakfast so pay a compliment or giving a compliment 
in in Eastern or in Malaysian setting, we always give reasons for that for that compliment, you know. Uh, so, but actually in the Western or what, maybe we can practice now when people give compliment, just say thank you, you know, just say thank you. Oh, oh, you look happy today. Oh yeah, thank you very much. I'm I'm always happy. That's it. You know, we don't have to give the reasons, but that's that's other things that we need to change. Yeah, sometimes. Because of I, I learned this, so when people give me compliment and uh, when I say just, oh, thank you very much, the person is waiting for me to give the reason. Why? You know, for example, I said, oh, you know, oh, nice car, for example. I say, oh, thank you very much. That's it, you know. And then the person is like, waiting for me to, to say something. Because in our culture, it's, it's uh, familiar for, for, for people to give reason. Uh, it, that's the difference. Plot. That's the, the, that's the um, you know, the... the uh, the hard part when we are ready to to change our culture, the person is not ready. Uh, but of course, from it takes time, yeah, it takes time. And then uh, number three, uh, comment on something pleasant, yeah, something that is good. Oh, um, uh, for example, things that happen. Oh, did you watch the the football game last night? Is uh, uh, finally we won, right? Uh, you know, something that is nice, you know. And then number four, uh, if you are not, uh, you know, um, know each other yet, just introduce yourself. Uh, hello, good morning, I'm Lisa, for example. Okay, uh, um, I, I'm new here. Um, I, I want to introduce myself, uh, you know, so so you tell, you tell yourself. No need to wait for others to to call you. Oh, siapa ya, uh, pekerja baru ke? No need, no, need, no need to wait for people to ask. You know, we ourselves uh, try, try to introduce ourselves, yeah? And then offer help if let's say you 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 go to the you go to, to enter the building and then you see that someone is carrying a lot of bags or a lot of files then maybe you want to help yes or can you uh, do you need a help or can I help you with those files and then you know you so you are actually having the small talk already yeah and then of course ask for help. So that one also uh, asked for help. Like I think uh, Mr. Offer just now give you an example or do you have lighter you know all or uh, um things that is having uh, in common. Okay, but make sure, do you have a pen? But of course, make sure, uh, don't forget to, to give back the pen to the person. Uh, you know, you don't keep to yourself. Okay, so ask for help. And then uh, mention a shared experience. Maybe this is the second time or fourth time, yeah? Or maybe a few times you met each other. So you find something uh, that, oh, or what about the, maybe you have met uh, in the registration uh, last week, for example, then you ask, oh, so how's the registration last week? Uh, is everything okay? So do you manage to register all the subjects for this semester? Uh, so, you know, so you ask, so the person will say, yeah, yeah I settled already. Oh, thank God for your help uh, last week, you know. Uh, so the person will, will react to you. And then number eight, uh, ask for an opinion. So um, uh, this one is, I think, uh, for those who are, uh, know each other for a long time, then you can ask for an opinion, um, asking that uh, what do you think? Yeah. Uh, so what do you think of this uh, this university? Yeah. Since it's, we are new here, uh, do you like University Merdeka? Uh, you know something like that. Ask for an opinion and uh, praise the person. Uh, praise the person for number nine is quite different with uh, pay a compliment uh, because um, giving compliment is about the person. Yeah, it's about what, what she or he is having right now. But praise the person is someone that the person do. Uh, for example, you said that, oh, I like your presentation just now, Mr. Bayou. Oh, you have done a very great job. Uh, so you praise the person. Well done, um, Mr. Alpha. Uh, okay, so you praise the person. I like your presentation about uh, Sungkan culture just now, for example. Okay, so you praise the person. And then number 10 is show genuine interest. Uh, interest. Okay, so you... Um, Oh, I see. Uh, I see your shirt written uh, Bandung just now. So, uh, have you been to Bandung before? Uh, so you know you, you really because maybe you like you like to travel. So maybe you know that maybe the person is from Bandung, for example, and then you want to go to go to Bandung in in a few weeks time, for example. So you show general interest, you know, to to, to show uh, to talk to start to, to talk to the person, and um. You can you can ask about them, for example, if you go to the office and then you see the, the photo 
uh, you know, the photo of the person with the family, yeah. So, uh, so you can say, oh, you have a good family. Oh, you have a great family. Uh, it's so nice taking a, a, a picture of the family. I said, you know, you, you, you talk about that, you ask about that. So, uh, is your family is here together with you? For example, if the, the lecturer is foreigner, for example, you know, you know that maybe she or he is from somewhere else, you know, in Singapore, uh, from Singapore, for example, and then you, you ask about the family. Is your family together with you uh, in Indonesia? Uh, then you can ask, yeah. And then uh, number 12 is make an observation. Of course, we can start with, uh, you know, observe first. Uh, somewhere, you know, uh, in front of you, oh, um, they have been doing a great job, right? Um, painting this, uh, this room. Oh, this new cafe is, uh, the food is very delicious, right? Uh, you know, so yeah, like, you know, observe what is around you and then talk about that, yeah? And of course, comment on the weather. I think this weather thing, has been a very good topic for you to start with anybody that uh, that you want, you know, stranger, uh, adult, elders, um, but I think kids are not that suitable, yeah, because they don't care about this weather, but sometimes they care also because they want to go play outside, right, uh, every evening, so you can also comment on the weather, oh, nowadays it's raining, right, oh, Kedah is very hot, you know, uh, I don't know what's wrong, what's wrong now, but sometimes suddenly it's raining, uh, you know, so comment on the weather. Okay, so this one just to um, highlight uh, the best topic for the small talk. So of course, number one, you can ask about your the family of the person. People love to talk about the family. I think many many person love to talk about the family. You know, the parents. Where are you from? How many siblings you have? If the person is married, how many kids? You know, people can go non-stop talking about their family. And then number two, sports. And uh, this one, I think. Uh, very suitable for, for the guys, yeah, especially you found that, oh, you are the big fan of this, uh, you know, um, MU, uh, Manchester United or Liverpool, uh, so, you know, you are like sharing the same, uh, same interest uh, to the sports or to the football team. And then entertainment, yeah, talking what is going on in the entertainment uh, entertainment world, you know, who's getting married, who's getting divorced, uh, but be careful, don't gossip, yeah, uh, because gossip is a no-no uh, to, to begin the small talk unless the person is is so close to you, uh, then okay lah, no problem, yeah? Because, uh, but not for the first time when people see each other, yeah? News, of course, yeah, have you seen news? Uh, what happened, yeah? Uh, what happened to the accident last time, yeah? You know, the news, and also, of course, work, uh, if you're working, for example, uh, you know, or if you're studying, um, uh, asking about works and studies also is the best topic. So, uh, which semester are you now? You know, maybe once later on when you go to the campus, you know, you will see around people you, uh, around you in the campus, you say, and then you want to meet each other. So, uh, which semester are you right now? What course are you right now? You know, so about the about the, your studies. Oh, is it hard, the subject? Are you not asking about the subject, the, 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 the lesson learns and whatnot? Okay, besides we have the best topic uh, to, to start our small talk, we also need to remember that um, uh, there are few things that we cannot we cannot uh, we cannot say or we have to wait until maybe we have a close relationship you know or become closer then only we we can start uh, asking about this but for a moment or when the person when she or he is the person that maybe you just met for the few times this one is a no no yeah for example you're asking for the salary or benefits you know maybe for example, you like to become a lecturer, or maybe you want to be an academician, and then suddenly you ask Miss Mithya, Miss Mithya, how much yeah, the salary at the University of Merdeka? Oh, that is so low. Maybe you can ask, but wait until uh, once she shared about your, uh, her experience later on, until you become close, Miss Mithya, and then you can also oh, wait to us, uh, you know, or wait. Or maybe you just can Google, you know, nowadays everything can be Google, you know, asking about the salary or benefit. So, that in mind, we cannot ask about the salary or benefits. And of course, politics, yeah. Uh, we can talk about politics, but you have to make sure that which side, yeah, talking about this politics is quite sensitive, right? So you have to know because everybody, especially adult, yeah, um, maybe some of you also, yeah, the younger generation, we already have our political mind. We already take our political sides, you know, whether we are pro-government or whether we are pro-opposition, uh, yeah. So you have to be very careful. We scared that oh you 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 know you 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 are in the government side. Suddenly the person that you newly met is in the opposition side. Uh, you know so uh, so when you give comment, you are in the different uh, in the different uh, different side. Uh, so you have to be be very um, careful in terms of that. All right. So you can talk about politics, but not in the small talk or not when you first few 
if or before we know the political fight or the political uh, principle uh, the person have yeah because it's such a waste you know uh, rugi lah kalau you are you can be a good friend but because of you are wrongly said at the first time you met are uh, then gone you know you, you cannot be friends anymore uh, you know so you have to be very be very careful in terms of that and then religion um but i think in terms of our culture in in eastern i think religion is not that something that is very very i would say that very sensitive yeah because um people can really ask okay are you muslim are you christian yeah so i think that one is in terms of no problem yeah Age, uh, this one, I think age also have to put disclaimer because sometimes uh, some people don't mind. If I ask how young you are, you can simply tell your age. Yeah. But if you ask me how old am I or how, for how old are you, Dr. Manso, for example, I am very like so scared, you know, I feel like, oh my God, I feel so old to share to share my age with you guys, uh, you know, so. But of course, you know, along the way, I think if we, you know, see each other later on, of course, I can, you know, freely share about my age, for example, but not for the first time or, or what, yeah. Controversies, so make sure that try to avoid this uh, controversies uh, issue that is happening because like I said, controversies issue also have this um, similar uh, side or similar idea with the politics. When you talk about this controversies issue or things that ha happen, you know, like for example, things that is viral or, or tular, you know, but the benda yang, things like that. So people will take their side, whether they support the, the person or whether they're not supporting. So you you don't want to, to make sure to have this different, contro, uh, you know, controversial side. So you have like, to be very careful in terms of that. And of course, gossip. Gossip is a no-no, you know, whether you want to gossip about the person near to you or about artists, you know, about celebrities. So keep it. Uh, keep it to yourself first, or, or don't talk, or don't don't gossip first. Yeah, wait until you have built a rapport, you become close to the person, and then then you can you can you can lah. You know, uh, at least start a little bit on the gossip things. Okay, so uh, enough of the um um the small talk. So now, how you want to show uh, our politeness uh, through non-verbal gesture? Okay. So I think the first thing that we can do is by smile. Uh, this is also for introvert people yeah, or introvert person. Uh, we don't know what to say. We don't know if we wrongly say words and whatnot. Just smile, you know. Smile is the way of positive language. Uh, in a, a, some, some linguists, yeah, some people are, are saying that our nonverbal is already the language, even though we didn't say anything. You know, you just smile. It settles the problem, uh, you know. So you are you are already showing and giving the positive vibe, the positive message to the person. And then only they say, if you are smart, actually by by uh, by smiling to the person, you already giving the positive um, message, and she or he, the person, is ready to say yes. How can I help you? Uh, you know, you are ready for that. So let the person initiate the conversation. You just smile before that, okay? And then number two, nodding, you know, so nodding is something that uh, to show that you are together with the person, you are agreeing with the person, or you are listening to the person uh, by, by nodding, you know, and then uh, the body point, for example, uh, our body point or our camera, my camera here, so of course my body is facing, uh, facing the camera or facing the PC, you know, we don't want our body point, like for example, I'm talking and then my body point is here, you know, I don't talk like this, right, so make sure that your body point is Focus where is the camera. So same like um, when you face, uh, each, uh, you know, um, you see each other face to face online. I think it's quite similar, yeah. So make sure that you are facing the person. And of course, posture, like I said just now, you know, your hand gesture, uh, the way you you see, you know, you cannot say like, for example, what what do you feel if I, I just sit like this, you know, uh, slide at my 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 chair? Maybe it shows that I'm not interested. Maybe it shows that I'm lazy. Maybe it's just that uh, you know, so it gives the negative, the negative message to the person. Yeah. So, so how my person will look like? Okay. So you stand. If you are sitting, sitting straight. If you are standing, standing straight. Uh, to show that you are ready to deliver. Uh, same like the listener also. Yeah. And uh, so far so good. As uh, uh, so far so good. If I see from the camera here, everyone is I think uh, are 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 sitting. Yeah. Uh, facing the your your laptop or your PC or your smartphone. I don't see anyone is sleeping on their bed so far, yeah. So that is showing that you are ready to listen to my to my to my lecture or to our webinar today, yeah. And subjugating uh, gesture, 
Masak jadi kan just get is something that you are like um um you are giving the hundred percent or you are like if you want to say something you don't speak yet ah okay so you are like okay nodding first even though you, you are, of course you know when you are talking we are uh, when people are talking we also have our own opinion right that we feel like oh i also want to talk, to tell or to share my stories but you you wait you wait until the person uh, finish the sentence and then you are you know sharing the subjugating gesture so same like i think uh mr bayu uh, shared just now we we give this white lies you know to to the person because uh that is actually one of the subjugating gesture or oh, actually i hate to go uh but i need to go okay uh so um, maybe we need to go to the toilet. Maybe you are so hungry, you know. So, but but the person is not stop speaking. So, oh sorry, I have a class because you scared that if you say that I'm hungry, so the person will feel offended. Oh, you 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 your food is important than me. Ah, you know. So that kind that kind of perception. So, uh, that is actually show the politeness, yeah. But I think um the. I think being direct also sometimes it helps. Yeah. Oh, sorry, I need to go to toilet. Sorry, please excuse me. I, you know, so you can tell directly. Okay, so the next one is um, and sometimes our nonverbal also uh, give the different message. Yeah, so please, um, these are the things that you need to avoid. Yeah, nonverbal. So smart, what is smart, you know, when we are showing you, know, if you see the emoji there or emoticon there, but I think we like to use the emoticon when we are, you know, talking to our friends. Okay, uh, so uh, uh, smooth is like, uh, oh, really? Are uh, you know, to show that, are you sure you're talking about that? Uh, you know, so with your eyes and with your with your mouth like that, oh, really? Uh, you could, why we cannot do these smooth things, yeah? Because it shows that whatever the person is saying um, is less important or we don't believe what people are saying. You know, we're like, are you sure you're talking about that? Uh, you know, so... Uh, and then we we send or we we tend to give this uh, negative you know negative message to the person. So and then number two, using the phone. Uh, so that's why I said you know. So if you are talking in front of the person or if someone want to see you, put the phone away. Yeah. So okay, let me. Uh, um, okay, what do you want to tell me? Okay. Uh, okay. Uh, can I which which part that can I help you? Okay, to show that yes, the person in front of you. Is, is important because when you are even when you are holding your phone also yeah even though maybe you don't take a look at the phone um some culture or i have read somewhere they say that it shows that the phone uh, or the person that you are or maybe you are maybe, uh what whatever that you are doing to the phone is same important to the person that you are talking uh you know but actually it's not but the person in front of you uh we have to entertain the person you have to talk to the person so the people in the smartphone have to wait, uh, you know, something like that. Or the work that you are doing to a smartphone have to wait. Okay. And then shifty eyes. Shifty eyes if, um, for example, you are having eye contact and then suddenly uh, we need to give eye uh, This also have to be a uh, disclaimer, yeah. But I think most of the culture, um, we we already okay with this, uh, this, uh, you know, eye contact to the person. So let's say you are talking to the person and then suddenly someone pass by at the back, you know. So, and then we follow the person. Well, I will, uh, while the person in front of us are talking, so we, uh, oh, okay, yeah, and then, so, so for example, the, the, the person is telling the stories, you know, excitedly telling the story, and then we say, oh, really? Uh, okay, I know, and then we keep, our eyes are keep, keep, you know, looking. We have shifty eyes already. Oh, yeah, uh -huh. oh, oh, okay, uh, you know, until the person uh, uh, pass by. So, um, we shouldn't do that, okay? So, what if, let's say, suddenly you are talking and then someone pass by and you really need to talk to the person? Oh, we have been waiting for the person. You have been waiting, maybe you know, you are, you know, you are, you are a, a drink. At, for example, in the campus, later on when you can can go back to the campus and then you are like, you know, having a coffee or having a breakfast with your friend at the cafeteria, for example, and then you are really want to see Miss Vidya, for example, and then suddenly you are, you know, your friends are talking to you and then uh, Miss Vidya pass by or uh, go into the counter to buy the coffee. You, for example so your friends are you know excitedly telling about him or her and whatnot so what you should do if you really need to stop the person you tell the person directly uh to, to stop for a while oh i'm sorry i'm sorry uh i need to catch miss vidya you know because i've been waiting for her since yesterday uh so can okay uh, let's talk uh, uh, later 
I, I, I come back later. I also give me five minutes. Uh, you know, you tell directly rather than you um you feeling discomfort and then you keep looking at Miss Media until she go out from the cafe. You know, uh, while your friends are talking. Uh, so it's it's it shows already good there. So so make sure your your eyes should be in the in the persons who are talking. Fidgeting. So what is fidgeting? Fidgeting is uh, this one also. I think many students didn't realize that you are playing with your hands. Yeah. You you're clapping like this, yeah. You are like uh, uh for example, if let's say you want to do presentation, um, nowadays because of this online, I think uh, people didn't see that you are fidgeting. But if you are like you know during my time or during our time here in this video, you have like to present in front, or you know we can see that people are sweating and then you know uh playing with their fingers and then uh holding like this because she or he is nervous. But actually, it's not. Yeah, we cannot do this fidgeting. Our our hand should be open, open body language like this, you know, ready, ready to talk and whatnot. And then using manipulators. So what do you mean by using manipulators? Fidgeting with hands, manipulators if with things in front of us, you know, for example, a pen, you know, pen that you can click, right? For example, your friends, are your, the lecturer or, or the teacher, uh, especially in front, and then you keep playing, you know, you keep playing with a ticky, ticky pen like this. So it's a no no, yeah. Uh, okay. Uh, or maybe you play with this, uh, you know, your 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 tumbler, for example, you know, this this water, water tumbler, may you keep that is making the sound, you know. You, you cannot do that, even though you don't you don't have the intention, you know, you keep playing. You are you are listening, but you keep playing, you know. Uh, so that one is no no also. So that is the manipulators, that things that um uh contribute to the sound, yeah. Okay, so now we are moving into, is everything okay? I think someone in the chat, uh, oh, attendance, okay, all right. Okay, so how's everything? Am I going too fast? No, 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 not at all. Everything okay, yeah? <laughs> yeah, all right. okay. Okay, I'm scared that I'm, I'm the one who talking, you know, excitedly here. I'm scared that uh, the, the students are, are lost somewhere, it's a, but I think so far so good, yeah, hopefully. Okay, uh, so now we are moving into um, how to begin and conversation written because I believe that uh, while I am planning uh, to what to share with, with you today, I said that I think uh, to share with um, talking about this conversation uh, written also is very important because nowadays, you know, with your location is at your hometown, you know, you are everywhere, you know, um, so you have like you know to text your lecturer to, to email your lecturer your assignment and whatnot. So I think uh, written should be also I should share also about this written conversation. Yeah. Okay. So before we know about uh, this written conversation, we also should know about this formal and informal. Yeah. So which one is formal and which one is informal? So um, if you email if you are having a business for example. You know, you want to email to a customer or to, to the person who having the same ranking with you, you are using formal, yeah? Uh, and email to lecturer, later on you want to submit your assignment to, to, to Miss Vidya, for example, and then you, 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 you are actually using the formal language that I will share later on. Of course, job application, you know, when you are graduating, inshallah, in a few years time, you know, you want to apply for a job, you are sending email, that is, uh, that is a formal, yeah? A complaint to a shop, yeah. Uh, when when you go to the to the store or to the restaurant or cafe, if something gone wrong, we didn't go to viral first, yeah. We we, we complain, we complain to the person first. But um, I don't know about Indonesia, but I think in Malaysia nowadays, uh, complain to a shop, email to a shop, nothing happened. They even they don't even read our email. Uh, but viral, we we share in the in the Facebook, we share in the TikTok, settle in one day. All right. So, but actually, we should um. And we should go to the person first. We should complain to the shop first, actually. Yeah. And of course, an email from one company to another company. So if you want to, to send your assignment also, if you want to share your assignment with your friends, maybe it's a group work. So you are actually formal. But because of maybe she or he is your friend that you are close already, that it become informal. Uh, sometimes this formal and informal uh, it differentiate not only the situation, but also it differentiate between the two person between the relationship yeah for example maybe you want to send we said you want to send the assignment also but before you send to miss vidya uh, for her to to grade you also send to the uh, to your friend you know to, for for her maybe to to see for the last time before you submit and whatnot but of course uh, because of you send your assignment to your friend it become informal already 
because we just can we don't have this subject we don't have dear uh, dear mr bayu you know we don't have that we don't do that with our our close friend we just say okay email done settle okay and then you whatsapp the person okay okay bayu check your email i've sent it uh, you know that is become informal even though you send your email okay and so informal setting or informal situation uh, a birthday greeting to a colleague uh, you know so um Everybody will have our WhatsApp group, right? For example, you know, WhatsApp group, Telegram group, and sometimes you have thousands of WhatsApp group now, okay? So we don't even know which group. So sometimes, um, which group is this? Yeah, I have like to take time, you know? So if someone's birthday there, people wish to, uh, people greet already in the group. So that's become informal already, yeah? A birthday greeting to a colleague, even it's a colleague, our, our friend in the uh, workplace, but, um, it's actually uh, informal, yeah? Because informal, we write in both. It could be email, it could be also uh, social networking sites like um, Instagram, uh, Facebook, uh, WhatsApp, Telegram, yeah? And email to a colleague who is also a good friend. Uh, so it becomes informal already. Even though we are talking about work, yeah? Same like an example that I gave you just now. Even though you are sending about the assignment, but of course, because it's a good friend, so you just send, you know, you just type it the, the address. A social invitation to a friend at your workplace, yeah, uh, you, you, you want to invite somebody uh, to the event, okay, it becomes informal already. An email with a link to a funny YouTube claim, you know, uh, uh, last time we talked about email, but now everything is shared in, in, in WhatsApp. So this is actually informal. And of course, a message to a friend that is considered as informal. So talking about informal, um, I would say that is that there is a less rules, yeah, there is less uh, lesser rules. Um, uh, talking about that um okay so this is the phrases sorry if i take some of your name here you know i love reading your name uh because i think in malaysians malaysians name are, are simpler you know like my name that's it yeah but i love reading your 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 name you know i go through uh, miss media shared with me i think last week right miss media about about, about the uh the, the names or participants of yours i was like oh my god i love reading all these indonesian names yeah Okay, so for example, if let's say how to begin the conversation in the formal, you know, like your boss, the lecturer, for example, okay, so we can start with, uh, um, right, for example, so beginning, dear Mr. Rafi, for example, you know, uh, uh, quickly, but sometimes I also, when uh, I, hopefully that you guys also know, uh, when I teach this to my students, and then the students say, but uh, Miss, uh, I thought dear is somebody that you love. Uh, you know, that was another story. I was like, oh my God, this student. But uh, because of she, but I'm, I'm glad that she asked, you know, so I have like to make disclaimer. So every time when I talk about this dear, I always tell that, yes, dear also referring to the person that you love. Okay, hi dear, how are you? Yes, that one. But dear here means refer, I think in Bahasa Melayu, if in Malaysia, we call it like kehadapan. You know, I don't know about about Indonesia. What is it the same kehadapan? Ah, kehadapan Encik Rafif, something like that. Ah, okay. And so dear, so dear here, meaning the word dear itself, I think have a lot of uh, meaning of the words. Okay, so but dear that you are using in the email kehadapan, ah, something like that. So we can use the but make sure and make sure you you use the the what you call that the the title, yeah, dear Mr. Rafif, uh, dear Sir Ahmad Khairul Anwar. Uh, dear Madam Cintalia, for example, uh, okay, uh, if informal, you know, in WhatsApp or maybe in email also, just like, hi Alpha, uh, hello Bayu, for example, okay, uh, morning Dewi Cahaya, something like that, okay, um, many, and then directly, okay, many thanks for your help, all right, uh, so even informal also, if you said that you don't even write the word good morning here, just like morning, afternoon, uh, okay, to show that informal. Because informal is more on we want we want we want to tell directly what we we need to know and the politeness level is lesser. Uh, okay, what about ending or how to end your your uh, written uh, conversation? So I look forward to seeing you next week. Uh, I think it's more um, uh, more detail. Yeah, I look forward to seeing you next week. Specific. If informal, see you next week. That's it. Okay, at the ya only. Yeah, see ya. Or C, even the spelling nowadays, yeah, uh, uh, teenagers, uh, youngsters, C, uh, S E E refer to C there, and then U with U there, big U there, C U. Uh, you know, sometimes I also have this, uh, oh, this student is writing to me, yeah, uh, and then they will like, implement everything. Some, uh, I think older generation like me having the hard time to read all this short form by the students. I have to, to always remind them, 
your lecturer is, is getting older, yeah, it's not the same generation like you. You have to, to submit or you have to send four words with this full spelling, uh, okay? And then we can use the with best wishes, okay? Uh, write your full name, Paul Alexander, yours sincerely, yours faithfully, yours truly. So that is the example of uh, phrases that we can, we can end in English, yeah? Informal, no problem. Cheers. Okay, and then write your name also, or just uh, just write your name. Okay, Juita Dwi Sakti, for example. Regards. Even the words regards also, you can use this uh, short form or, or this uh, short spelling, R G D S settle. Rather than, but in, in email, maybe we can write the full sentence, regards, R E G A R G S. Yeah. Bye for now. See you soon. Okay, or talk to you later. Okay, uh, you know, so informal, I think it's, um, uh, I would say to my students that. In terms of informal, I think you guys shouldn't be worried. You know, just be yourself. Just talk whatever that you want to talk. You know, because uh, when we we are, we are having this informal conversation with our friends and whatnot, yeah. Okay, so how to end conversation politely? So, uh, conversation or how to end uh, conversation is as much as important as our first impression when we want to begin our conversation, yeah, because. We want to give the, the um, people will remember the last moment uh, they see each other compared to the first moment when we see each other. So, of course, we want to give this uh, good impression to, uh, to to the person also. Yeah. So, uh, I think like the cartoon there here, each conversation ending has an impact level. Your level of impact can either, uh, there are three levels there. Number one, increase positive emotions. Yeah. So I'm glad, I'm so glad we met. Thanks for sharing that story. It was so funny. It's been great. Uh, the one is, I think, the most, uh, I think the best, the best impression that we could leave. And then, or just a monotonous, keep it the same. It was good catching up. See you later. Uh, okay. Or even worse, okay, or blow your chances completely. Um, I have to retain some video tips. Uh, okay. But this one, I think, uh, back to what Miss Vidya said, you know, Western culture always said that we uh, eastern people yeah orang asia um dishonest or we don't feel we don't tell directly what we because you want you know the white lies there you know uh so uh, I'm, I'm taking this cartoon from the the western culture so uh i have to return some blue uh, some video tapes it shows that oh she or he is giving excuse you know and, uh, uh they said that asian culture or asian people uh should tell directly, you know, don't, don't become dishonest and whatnot. But actually for us, for our culture is our, uh, this, that is how we are being polite actually. Yeah, uh, that's the, the, the contradict there. Okay, but I, I think slowly you can, you can, you can adapt uh, to the, the difference of the culture there. Okay, so how to end conversation politely? Uh, so you can start with, uh, let's say you want to go somewhere. So for formal, you can say that, oh, sorry, but I'm afraid I need to, uh, to go somewhere. Uh, so, you know, you, you apologize first. Uh, okay, so you apologize first. I like talking to you. You know, you tell that you, I love talking to you, but, uh, okay, so you, you tell the reason. Uh, my regret to end this conversation, but, and then tell your reason why. Uh, okay, so in a way, that's, that's how being polite, rather than, Hey, I need to go lah. I know that 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 is considered as rude according to the culture. Informal, ah, uh, informal. You you can tell directly, no problem. Anyway, I have to go now. Oh, sorry. Ah, uh, I have class at two p.m. later on, but I, and then I, I don't have a lunch yet, so I think I have to go now. I tell directly because informal, um, you don't have to worry about this this formality. Yeah. Well, you must be busy. And uh, one also another way. Uh, I think my friends also. Uh, I realize that some people like to uh, to use this reason instead of they are telling they are they are busy. They tell, they assume that the person is busy. Oh, you must be very busy, Dr. Um, Miss Vidya or Dr. Vidya. Okay, so uh, uh, I need to go now. Uh, okay, but actually she is the one who's busy, you know, but she said that you are busy. Uh, all right, so, but I think it's a good way. It's a good way telling that, yeah. Um, sorry, look at the time. Oh, it's already uh, almost one o'clock. Uh, so we have to, uh, I have to go, you know, so look, look at the time, you know. And I think uh, looking at our watch also, it's a sign of a non-verbal, yeah, telling the person that you are in a rush, that you need to go now, yeah, by watching or looking at your, your time. Okay, so the, uh, then uh, when you want to, uh, when you are telling the person that you want to go away or that you need to end the conversation, then after that, oh, it's been a pleasure talking to you. If it's formal, it's been a pleasure talking to you. It was nice meeting you if it was the first time, yeah. It's been good talking to you. 
Okay, and then oh, let's catch up soon, for example. And then the person, uh, the respond, oh, same here. Yeah, just now, oh, sure, no problem. Okay, and then you end your conversation. This one is the final, no more talking. Yeah, uh, uh, see you again, keep in touch, bye, okay, bye. Uh, okay, but I, um, we uh, Asian, we are feel so difficult to end our conversation. We say bye, and then we keep talking, talking again, again. Okay, how many bye's already? But that's normal, you know, especially when after we didn't meet each other for many times. Oh, I forgot to say, and then suddenly you continue talking like that. All right. Okay. Um, okay, just want to share with you in short uh, politeness in Malaysian setting. Yeah. Um, I think Miss Vidya, can you play the, the YouTube video that I shared with you just now? Yeah. Okay, wait a moment. All right, no problem. Oi, ini wayang gambar pusing kan? Hah? Ulu pun tersampuk kan? Eh, sudah lah, mari kita balik dah. Ini dia orang semua banyak angin dah. Mari dah. Orang nama si orang Melayu. Siti Hada pun tak tahu. Orang yang takkan panggil, hoi, hoi, hoi. Saya ni apa? Batu ke? Kayu ke? Alamak, Benggali itu bahasa kan kita dah. Memang betul dia cakap. Kau tu mana ada bahasa, panggil orang, oi, oi, oi. Bahasa menunjukkan bangsa tau. Ah, ah dan Kodin. Ah, ah, kau juga sama. Tadi kawan tu sampai meludah pun. Okay, um, I don't know whether you are familiar, younger generation, like you very familiar with this uh, prominent uh, actor from Malaysia or not. Um, but this is from Alayarham Tasri uh, Pirani, you know, a very famous and well-known um, uh, long time ago, I think around 1950s like that. So, um, uh, can you understand the, the video just now? Uh, is it, uh, or is it hard, or you know what's going on in the video? Okay. What's wrong with the video or what can you detect uh, from the video? Can I see some response or someone can respond? What's wrong with, with the first time when the person is asking, uh, asking the, uh, the card, I think the security card, you know, uh, about that? Anyone? Can, can someone or maybe want to, to raise hand to, to speak or maybe just write in the chat box, no problem. Okay, anyone can perhaps guess. Okay, you can raise hand or perhaps uh, what is that? Write it in the chat or perhaps do you want to see it once more? Okay, I will, uh, what is that? Replay it, okay? Uh, okay, sure, no okay. problem. I think then uh, replay it. Oi. Ini wayang gambar pusing kan? Hah? Ulu pun tersampuk kan? Eh, sudah lah, mari kita balik dah. Ini dia orang semua banyak angin dah. Mari dah. Orang nama si orang Melayu. Siti Hada pun tak tahu. Orang yang takkan panggil, hoi, hoi, hoi. Saya ni apa? Batu ke? Kayu ke? Alamak, Benggali itu bahasa kan kita dah. Memang betul dia cakap. Kau tu mana ada bahasa, panggil orang, oi, oi, oi. Bahasa menunjukkan bangsa tau. Ah, ah, dan Kodin. Ah, ah, kau juga sama. Tadi kau tu sampai meludah pun. Ah, okay. Alright, I think for the second time, uh, you can understand more. Hopefully, yeah, what's going on. So, what's wrong with the video? Okay. Or what is mistake that you can uh, you can identify from from the short scene there? Okay. Miss Dia Cahaya. Ah, yeah. uh, okay. <laughs> Yes, go ahead. Can you hear my voice? Yeah, yeah. Okay. So if I'm not mistaken, the video is about how to politely reach or call someone, not just uh, just call oi oi or just spit it your cell phone them, just politely how to politely call them. Yes. So they will answer you nicely. Correct, correct. Okay. So instead of hoi, 
what do you think that the person should say when she wants to uh, when he wants to ask about you know where is this uh, studio or is it correct location what is the correct way or the polite way uh, to, to ask uh, ah, yeah. uh, the first thing we should say at least uh, excuse me to the other person yes correct yeah okay correct yeah so instead of hoy so what are the correct things that we should do you know, to show the politeness so of course number one we can start or we begin with greetings yeah or hi uh, or if you are not sure about the religion okay uh, or like, uh, hi good morning at uh, just hello yeah at the point uh, excuse me uh, maafkan saya you know words like that to begin that you are uh, that you want to 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 ask for help yeah and then um after that, that one is that, uh, maafkan saya, uh, ini ke studio, uh, you know, Jalan Ampas, or uh, boleh tahu di mana studio Jalan Ampas, you know, so there you politely ask him. So that's why uh, I think uh, Tasri Perambi, or the actor, uh, the actor who said that, uh, you know, Bahasa Menunjukkan Bangsa tu, uh, he is the one who direct. He's the he's the director, he's the actor, and he's the producer, uh, and he's also a musician also. You know, I think he, we call him, uh, uh, we, we di, di Malaysia kita gelarkan tasri pirami ni or pirami ni P lah, ini tujuh P. P tu not only refer to uh, the name, ya, pirami but also pelakon, penyanyi, uh, pengarah, uh, penerbit, uh, you know, so I think what's another three P's, ya, yeah? I forget already. Pen, uh, uh, per music because he also can, can uh, such a very talented uh, uh, man, ya. Yeah? Okay, so when he created this movie, he he actually are being cynical because that, you know, imagine that was what, in 1950-something, he already critic about our Malay culture back in Malaysia, yeah, because there are, because of that things happen, that only he, he, he create the scene in, in the film because he wants to, to critic that um, some people or in Malay, we become uh, we become not polite or become impolite already. Uh, so he critic uh, he critic that uh, that, that our our say. So imagine now it's already you know 30, 40, 40 years after after this our I think almost fifty years like that. Okay. So where uh, as a, in Malaysia, so that is actually happening. Yeah. And and I think uh, uh, even 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 worse than what what the what Tasri or uh, the the actor is showing uh, through the video. Okay, um, is my screen on or should I uh, share again? Yeah, you have to share again, uh, I believe. Okay, yeah. right. okay, sure. okay, so just want to share a, a quick, uh, a quick, uh, you know, the, the situation of politeness in, in Malaysian settings here, uh, which I think I have to skip that. Now. Okay, I have to move this one. Okay, sorry about that. Uh, I think I should go to this one. I want to skip the video part, but I can't. Yeah, okay. Uh, all right. Uh, let me share the big screen. Okay, so um, generally, uh, Talking about this uh, politeness in Malaysian setting, so we cannot run away from um, uh, from Malay culture, yeah, because Malay is the the most dominant uh, race in Malaysia, and we also have this uh, uh, the highest number of, of people in Malaysia. So the majority is Malays, uh, followed by Chinese uh, and then Indian, um, and then then only certain certain race. Even though we are not that uh, as many as Indonesian, I believe Indonesian, you know, I think we have hundreds or thousands, yeah, of, of ethnic, uh, but uh, Malaysia is uh, of much more lesser than that, but still we have, I think, more around uh, 20 plus like that, yeah, the latest. Okay, so generally, talking about this uh, Malay culture or being polite uh, uh, in Malaysia still, we cannot run away from the Malay culture itself and also the language, yeah, and talking about uh, Malay culture or Malaysian culture, it is based on these Islam principles and conducts because um, in Malaysia, you are Malay, automatically you are Muslim or Islam. So whatever come uh, behind uh, that mold, uh, our culture is based on Islam principles and conducts. Okay, and um, to 
uh, to come up or to mold our culture uh, in speaking or the way we act, uh, we always um, regards or we always relate with these values, you know, or nilai, or nilai moral. So every word has values. Kenapa guna perkataan ni? Bukannya perkataan satu lagi. Kerana nilainya tu berlainan, for example. Okay? And then, um, and of course, we always relate with uh, our culture, with, um, you know, attitudes, you know, the way we behave, the way we speak, our opinion, pendapat kita. Kenapa kena fikir macam tu? Oh, okay. Kamu sebagai anak tidak boleh berfikir um, yang buruk-buruk tentang ibu bapa, you know, our opinion about our parents. But of course, being youngsters or being teenagers, so sometimes we, we tend to have this bad idea about our parents, you know, uh, they are not fair and whatnot. But of course, as a, as a kid, we shouldn't think of that, yeah? speech and of course the way you the way you speak all right and uh in terms of our attitude you know shame you know like diri. Uh, so we are always dealing with that you know uh, jaga diri jaga marah jaga air muka keluarga something like that the words that we are always handling with our 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 Malay culture then okay and the value also will determine our language that we are using you know so Fine language, uh, bahasa yang sepatutnya kita guna here, V1, is of course the positive. This is basically what are the words that we should use. And of course, this the V2, V3, V4, all negative that we should avoid. You know, we cannot use good language, yeah? we cannot use abusive language, and we cannot use this uh, or offensive language that we might offend, uh, offend the people yeah? that we are talking about. And the words must be selected carefully there. Okay? And then uh, politeness uh, in Malaysia or in Malay, um, uh, if you say that polite, refer to santun, yeah, sopan santun, politeness, uh, sopan santun. And uh, we, like I said just now, we focus on the nilai, on nilai mumi, and talking about Islam, I think similar like Indonesia also, it always go back to our religion, our racial, cultural, and geographical factor, like what Ms. Lydia is saying just now, you know, orang Asia totally different with orang orang-orang uh, barat ya yeah, western culture um, execution of politeness or when we do uh, when we are being polite it must be related with our perception yeah and practice differ from one's being practiced and belief in the eastern civilization yeah contohnya for example let's say you are indonesian and then you are raised in indonesia you know uh, we call this born and bred in indonesia and then suddenly maybe your cousin or your relative um also Indonesian, but she or he was born and bred in United States, for example. And then after 20 years, she came back to Indonesia. Even though both of you are Indonesia, of course, the way, the value that she holds, totally different. Even sometimes maybe she or he cannot speak Indonesia, for example. Maybe only she or he can speak, but the way because of she brought up is different. So the perception, the politeness, the definition of uh, politeness, is different between you and the person, yeah. And of course, uh, talking about Malay is related to Islam, so that's why everything is related to to, to, to Islamic perspective. And um, uh, in, in Malay, uh, we are prohibited from insulting and belittling one's kids during the interaction. We cannot say that, uh, hey, you know, call call the, the physical things or a pende, or you know. But that is what is happening. Ah, uh, sadly to say, I have to admit that is what is happening. You know, uh, telling that, uh, you know, talking about the mother or parents, belittling. That is actually no, no. So that's why sometimes maybe things that gone viral in Malaysia and then suddenly also gone viral in Indonesia. Um, sometimes it's not represent our culture actually. Yeah. And of course, impoliteness is highly prohibited in Islam and uh, regarded as sinful. Yeah. But of course, because you know that's not what you do. And of course, in in uh, politeness in Malaysian setting, uh, we like I said, we always relate with the language. Yeah. Uh, for example, uh, we have this kind of proverbs, yeah, or idioms that uh, closely related to uh, to to politeness, yeah, to the culture. For example, uh, bahasa tidak boleh dijual beli. Of course, you know, you know, uh, you want to acquire language, you have to learn. You cannot simply, you know, uh, suddenly uh, become very good in English, uh, become very good in Malay or, or Bahasa. No, you know, you have to acquire that. One who lost his language, lost his nation to show that orang yang kehilangan bahasa, kehilangan bangsanya. Uh, okay, and of course, uh, the similar idioms or words saying by Pyramid just now in the scene, you know, language is the soul of its people. Yeah? Bahasa jiwa bangsa, bahasa menunjukkan bangsa. So that's why we cannot say that um, 
uh, oh uh, sama some people will say that oh uh, saya memang begini bahasa saya kasar you know I, I say about the words but uh, hati saya baik saya suka tolong orang uh, you know but actually it's not yeah whatever that the person is saying or speaking is actually portrayed or is coming from the the soul of the person so if the person is good uh, for sure the soul is good yeah so that's why um dulu, uh, last time uh, when i was a teenager you know biasa lah you know remaja kadang-kadang rida and what not i also agree with that i used to be agree with the with the uh, proverb oh tak apa bahasa sahaja uh, uh, kasar tetapi uh, hati baik tapi rupanya salah you know So it shows that kalau saya uh, kalau guna bahasa kasar tu to show that your soul is is, is something wrong then ya. Yeah? Uh, so this one uh, top 10 value preference of Malay so talking about this politeness ataupun value yang orang-orang di Malaysia yang ketiga-tiga ni lah bangsa yang yang dominan di Malaysia ya. Yeah? So um, kalau di, uh, among Malaysia rankingnya jujur tu yang kena yang pertama lah. Ya, yeah, uh, dan uh, tapi uh, antara orang Melayu dengan orang Cina di Malaysia kedua-duanya bersetuju yang antara nilai nilai murni yang perlu ada dalam diri adalah of course respectfulness atau politeness dia. Yeah. Kita berkongsi nilai yang sama antara orang Melayu dan juga orang Cina. Ini berada di uh, tambah orang Cina tu kecilnya uh, rankingnya pertama di situ. Yeah. Uh, so this is my resources or reference. So um, I'm going to end my 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 long speech. Sorry for taking your time. Uh, this one we call this pantun, yeah. Uh, I don't know whether uh, you are familiar with this pantun. So, uh, yang kuri itu kunci, uh, yang merah itu saga, yang cantik itu budi, yang indah itu bahasa. So, uh, it's about language, yeah. Language portrays our personality actually. So, uh, always be polite with people uh, that you meet. Okay, so I think that's all uh, for my speech there. Do we have any questions? Wow, thank you so much, Dr. Mansur. That's really insightful presentation. And now we know about uh, what is that the general knowledge in begin and ending the conversation. Now I believe that my students have several questions for you. Uh, are you okay about that? Uh, yes, yes, sorry. Uh, okay. I need to uh, help you. Stop share. Oh yeah, yeah. Stop share. Okay. okay <laughs> go, guys. Okay, who go first? You can ask anything, <laughs> as long as it is all about this topic. Okay, yeah, yeah, <laughs> or perhaps but... you want to ask about her. It's okay too. <laughs> yeah, I try my best to answer whatever questions given to me. No problem. Okay, we have uh one of our uh, what is that bright student here? Hello, Rumalian. Rumalian. Hello, Okay. Okay, you can ask her. Um, I'm going to ask a question related to um, uh, giving compliment. Because okay. uh, as it's mentioned before that, giving compliment is not our culture. It's Western culture. Yeah. Um, so my question is, um, when we learn the language in, in the context of English language, mm -mm. do we have to apply it to their culture as well? Like if our our um, culture is not giving compliment, we have to give compliment just because we learn English. Um, because sometimes, but I do that as well when I speak English. I, I, I'll give compliment to other people, um, not in Indonesian, but when I speak English, I suddenly change. Kind of like my behavior change yeah, from not giving compliment to to tend to give compliment, just like English speakers. Um, but at some point, I will kind of like. Um, contemplate and think like, oh, am I westernized <laughs> just because I'm, I'm learning a language? There is that question um, sometimes popping up in my head. So I, um, I want to ask, like, do we have to um, uh, take their culture when we learn their language? Yes. Okay. All right. Thank, uh, you. thank you. Thank you, Romelian, for a very interesting uh, question. Um, my answer is yes. Yeah. To learn about people's language, you should also learn about their culture, yeah? So, and I know that uh, you are having the, uh, some sort of dilemma there, you know, so am I being too westernized when giving compliment? For example, if let's say you see uh, someone in the cafe or maybe you see your friend, you know, or maybe you see some familiar faces uh, online or virtual, and then suddenly you see face to face, oh, she's the person or she's the one who, who uh, my classmate uh, in Miss Libya's class, and then you want to, you want to, to greet her or to greet him, yeah? So maybe you can say, oh, you look great. So 
maybe you are worried with a hey, she might be that you know uh, she might have this kind of uh, difficult uh, you know a wrong wrong opinion about me so my uh, my suggestion would be that uh, um sorry my wait uh, something wrong with my pc right now uh, can you listen to me is it clear yes you can uh, okay okay oh, the, the screen suddenly gone blue okay um Never mind. Eh? I think I'm going to. Sorry about that. I'm going to enter through, um, through my phone. Wait, nah. Sorry about that. Recording in progress. Yeah, I think I should. For the interruption, uh, there are two, two of me in that, so I need to to go out from the on the screen. There. Give me a few seconds, sorry. Um, can the organizer uh remove my my the the first one? Can you can you do that, Miss Media? Pardon me. Oh, because your voice is kind of uh, have an echo. Echo, yeah. Uh, can you remove yeah. the participant? Can you remove me the, oh. the uh, from the the one that I log in from the PC? Because I'm already logging into my to my smartphone here. Oh, I see. I see. Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> I'm sorry, but uh, you are on mute right now. Wait, wait. <laughs> please, uh, can you please unmute yourself, Dr. Mansur? Your Zoom is still on mute. <laughs> wait, I'll try to find you here in the participant. Can you please please unmute yourself, Dr. Mansur, because we cannot hear your voice. Oh, all right. Uh, yeah. <laughs> okay. All right, sorry. Okay, is it uh, the echo gone already or still here? Yeah, yeah, because uh, perhaps the sound from the other device, perhaps you can put it on a very low, uh, what is that? Is it, uh, is it volume? No, 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 no. No, it is already crystal clear right now. Uh right uh sorry about the the interruption yeah okay mm -hmm. uh so to to answer uh who's the person's name i forget already i uh, see that's the that's the problem with being old okay uh the person to answer the the, the gentleman's question just now i will see yes yeah to acquire uh the language you also have to learn uh, to learn the culture and um um I, I agree or I, I got it when you said that oh uh, we are you are having dilemma or uh, do you look or maybe you you might sound you know too westernized when you um, when you are using that so um, I think you have to see the context yeah you have to see uh, who um, who is your person that you are uh, that you are talking okay and then if you realize that she or her this one is by observing yeah yeah but by, by observing of course sometimes uh, it's hard for us to know oh, uh, whether whether we are having the same uh, uh same similar uh, uh principle or not yeah so i think this one by by observing so if you realize that oh uh, after a few times then only you realize that oh okay i think uh you can adapt yeah uh, you call this adapt um, you adapt the culture or you adapt uh, the way you speak or what you have learned in this English class with the person, then go ahead. Uh, yeah. If not, maybe this is the first time. I think my suggestion would be that um, you need to observe first, you know, how the person, uh, the personality of the person, uh, then only uh, you decide uh, or you react uh, based on the uh, people's personality uh, and, and culture uh, about that. 
Okay. Uh, do we have? Uh, hopefully, I'm answering your question. Uh, do we have? Uh, Thank you. Questions? Okay, thank you, Lian. Now, perhaps uh, we have Arliza Novi. Okay, you can unmute yourself, Arliza. I have a question. How to start a conversation about bad news? Uh, again, how what? How to start a conversation about bad news? Or oh, how to start the conversation about the news? Yes. Right, okay. Bad news uh, or news, Arliza? Bad news. Bad news. Oh, bad news. Right? Yeah. Oh, okay. Ah, okay. All right. So usually, uh, this one also, I think, uh, by experience, yeah. But uh, of course, I just want to share my experience with you. Yeah. Of course, in our uh, our life, sometimes everything is not about good thing, right? Everything is bad news. So, um, this one, I think, uh, I always practice this. Um, I even, I think, not even the bad news, but even the news itself. Um, I will start with. Um, if we see the person, um, we want to, to, to check whether the person knows already about that, then uh, I think we can um, ask the question first. Have you heard about, uh, you know, what, what is the news? Right? Have you heard about what happened to uh, Izati, for example? Uh, okay. Uh, have you heard about about uh, about you know uh, the person or, or have you heard about so you ask the person first yeah uh, to to check whether uh, whether the person already know about about that or not because sometimes we uh, sometimes that also happened to me I I you know I'm excited to share about this suddenly the person already know I know so that, that become awkward already so first you check with the person whether the person know or not about about the situation about the bad news and then. Um, the second one, if uh, then if the person uh, do know, then of course you can share or uh, actually what happened. And um, talking about the bad news, uh, that's why I said verbal culture is very important. Um, uh, it should come with your tone. You know, um, I, I realize that if people want to share about this bad news, you know, we our tone also will be different. Oh, you know that. Uh, you know. Uh, you realize or not? You no, know, my voice already. The tone of my voice already like slower. Um, do you know that actually? Uh, you know that is actually how because uh the non verb because when we share about the bad things, uh, or, or bad news, uh, or maybe sad news, yeah. So we also tend to 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 feel the person's uh feelings. You know, sad or, or bad things. You know, our tone also become the 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 tone of our voice also become lower, or sometimes the voice also become lower. Okay, that is one thing. The second way is uh, if uh, if it's written, yeah. For example, if you want to to speak uh, to, to to share the bad news um, uh, in the WhatsApp or in the social media, you can begin with all this uh, this word uh, of to show that uh, to show that you are feeling the same way. For example, like um, duka. For example, in uh, um, in English, we can say sadly. Uh, to mention or uh, with a heavy heart uh, okay dengan rasa berat hati with a heavy heart i would like to announce that uh, okay saya ataupun dalam kalau bahasa melayu ataupun in malay words or in bahasa indonesia aduka uh, cita dimaklumkan uh, okay ataupun kalau uh, benda tu melibatkan macam uh, bukan melibatkan kemalangan tapi mungkin it's related to uh, something that for example you cannot uh, for example, let's say uh, I plan to have this webinar with you, and then suddenly my PC gone wrong, or maybe uh, you know something wrong. Uh, I'm okay, but I cannot some some uh, in any reason I cannot go online. Now uh, you know, so uh, uh, maybe of course the way I text Miss Media will be that uh, with the regret. Uh, I, I I am regret to inform. Ah, dengan rasa kecewa saya okay saya nak memaklumkan. You know, so you use all the words to show that you. Are in you are having that feelings uh, together with the news that you want to deliver. Okay, that will be my answer. Okay, thank you. Now we have a Cinta, and then we have Dwi Cahya, and as the last student. Okay, Cinta, you can go first. Hey, ma'am. In this modern era, it's possible for us to interact with strangers around the world through social media. So Correct. my question is, how to start an online conversation with strangers without feeling awkward? Thank okay. you. 
Okay, so I would say that um, without feeling awkward. All right, so the first first thing first, of course, you must have the confidence. Yeah, and you have to remember that. Um, I always have this kind of um, idea, or I always, you know, that is kind of we call this self talk. You know, you you keep talking to yourself, you keep telling yourself that I always have this um, when I feel lack of confidence. Yeah. Um, you don't worry, even though you're looking at me, you know, like this, sharing my experience, but uh, you have to know also, I'm very nervous, you know, I'm very nervous too, uh, sharing, uh, meeting, meeting you, uh, all of you, Miss Vidya and whatnot. So um, that's normal, actually, yeah, uh, nervous or feel awkward or feel, uh, am I doing the right thing? That's normal, yeah, that's normal, that's the, the, the normal question that we, we keep asking ourselves. So number one, I will say that have the confidence have the courage so how to have the confidence or courage so um one of my tips that i always uh, do to to make me uh, feel less nervous or less awkward is by uh keep telling myself that uh, don't worry the person also is the same thing yeah the person also is um uh, the person also is uh is uh, having the similar things uh, uh are having the same things with me okay contoh macam in, if we say like in, in bahasa melayu we say that uh, tak apa orang tu pun sama saja macam kita oh bezanya dia english is their first language uh, that's why they are good yeah uh, so anggap saja um, you know we can and and focus and besides uh, number one is we we think that the person is same with us yeah sama saja cuma beza bahasa saja yeah tiada yang lebih and yang kedua we we uh, we have to think that we are very unique in our own way yeah kalau dia uh, uh, orang barat okay orang um, orang barat ataupun western people we are eastern yeah we are uh, we are he, they also like to learn about our culture so if you think that we want to learn more about language about english language believe me they also want to learn about our language uh, so that's why we find many people you know from western um they can speak indonesia very well you know because they are interested with our culture and trust me uh this one uh and trust me western people yeah they're really interested to know about our culture because of they don't have that uh, you know they don't have that culture you know um uh, about this apologizing of course they have but um their culture is just a, a, a medium culture it means that um you know not into the root the reason you know for us like for example if you want to apologize you know we give we shake hands with people and then we show our our gratitude we show you know we, you don't have that you just have to shake hand okay hi how are you or oh, what's up you know what's up dude you know that one so just remember that you are unique and um and of course you can use all the all, all the words that, that i shared just now yeah hi hello how are you nice meeting you uh, uh, america for indonesia for example uh, okay so that's how so to make you less awkward i think um you know having the confidence having the courage uh remember that the person also is uh, similar with you yeah uh, it's just a different culture a different language that's it and uh focus on what can you offer uh, to the person, you know, sharing about your culture, sharing about your language, sharing about you staying and living in Indonesia and studying there and whatnot. Okay, so that will be my my, my advice to you. And number five, of course, um, I think inshallah, I will share my slides with Miss Vidya later on. So I think uh, you guys can take a look at the, all the certain phrases uh, that uh, that you can use when you want to, uh, to text yeah, or to email or to start the conversation with the people. Okay. Yeah, that will be nice because we need uh, what is that, the opening words and all that you already shared on your screen. And my student, I believe that will really, uh, what is that, need that in the real life to apply it. Okay, yes. thank you. And uh, no, uh, I'm so sorry because the time is limited. So I will, uh, what is that, uh, stop the question until Dwi Cahya because uh, it is on a first come, first serve. <laughs> okay, uh, yeah. Dwi Cahya. Okay, you can start now. And for uh, what is that, Rafif and also, oh, who is the first one? Okay, the other one, you can ask me and perhaps I can ask Dr. Mansour outside of the class to give you several, uh, what is that, tips, of yep, course. Don't 
then have maybe yeah, if we guess you have a, a limited of time, uh, keep asking Miss Widya, and I think Miss Widya forward uh, the questions to me. Okay, yeah, yes, of course. Okay, now we have the last one, Dwi Jahyana. You can start. Okay, thank you so much for the time. So my question is, uh, how about when you have tried to make the first move and start a conversation, but our speaking counterparts being indifferent, you know, like they just write the response something like yes, no, or even they don't say anything. Like it's pretty uh, frustrating for me. So can you give me some solution on what should I do in those situation? Thank okay, you. all right. Uh, very good and interesting uh, question from, from you, Chahaya. Okay, so of course, that will be awkward. Okay, we already, you know, uh, try to practice or oh, uh, uh, Miss, uh, Miss Shazwani said that uh, we have to practice, we have mass courage and then, we, you know, we are trying even to have the courage to try. Also, it takes time for us, right? It's good, yeah. So what if when we try to make, um, when we try to, to converse with the people, the person react some sort of giving this, uh, you know, uh, uh, unresponsive, we call that, you know, uh, do not respond much as what we expected. So my my suggestion would be that when you try to uh, to uh, to approach the person, you know, through small talk or what, uh, you must have bear in mind or keep in your mind that uh, you have to be ready with any possibility, uh, you know, so you tr you try your luck first. So because if we if we hopefully you know if we are positive thinking oh uh, hopefully the person will talk to me back like what I'm talking to the person you will get frustrated if the person is um if if not you know don't respond as what you expected so later on you will say like oh so frustrated and then you will stop it will discourage you right you will like stop I don't want I don't want to try anymore you know it's very frustrating uh, so my advice would be that the first thing that you should do is. Uh, having this 50-50 uh, possibility. Okay, so if I approach the person, it's either he or she will respond back to me like what I expected or uh, okay, yes, like what you said. Uh, so try first, you know, it's like about try and error uh, uh, about this kid. So when you try approach the person or oh, hi, how are you? Uh, so which course are you right now? So see and observe um, how the person respond yeah so if the person respond positively that will be very good yeah so you, you keep you keep talking but what if the person is um if uh, if you know yeah okay if i were you or i think i've been doing this if the person are not interested to talk to, with you then don't talk uh you know she or he is not the right person for you to to speak with so I just said, okay, uh, it, it seems that, so you have to observe, it's good that you realize, yeah, rather than you keep talking and then the person get annoyed with you, it's good that you realize that, oh, he just give a uh, she or uh, yes or no, uh, um, you know, response. Uh, yeah, I think so, like that. So from if I were you or I have been doing this, just stop. It means that the person may be in the middle of something, maybe he or she having the problem that, you know, it seems that she or is is free, you know, didn't look at the handphone, but we don't know what she or he is thinking behind behind her back, you know, maybe she's having problems, someone passed away, someone is sick. So, uh, of course, we don't, we don't judge also, yeah. So, just stop. I said, yeah, okay, that's it. So, uh, just consider that that moment, it's not the time for you to have this conversation. Then go, maybe go for someone else, yeah? Or maybe, okay, let's try another day, no harm, yeah? So um, I would say, yeah, that's that's what you do. Stop talking, she is, or she or he is not, it's not, uh, it's not uh, the person that you want to talk with, okay? So try another day, try another time, try with other people. So it's not, it's, uh, you know, keep trying. It's about, life is about try and error, I think including our this conversation skills actually so that's my answer yes thank you wow that's really what is the nice question because it happens in real life and everyone what is the facing kind of problem and right. uh, what is the yeah actually there are still uh, what is the plenty question and even the students sometimes dm me direct message me but i pray that this is actually already a duhur time uh solid prayer to her in indonesia but uh, yeah. yeah yeah that's why uh what is that 
I believe that I will close the session for Q and A. Uh, and for Dr. Mansur, do you have a what is that next activities, or perhaps you want to what is that just close the presentation? Yeah, I think um, I will close the presentation. We don't have time for the quizzes because my my sorry about you know apologies for the my my PC suddenly gone blank uh, just now, so I cannot share the quizzes. But I really hope that um, uh, my presentation. I'm so sorry if I'm taking quite a long time to present mm -hmm. about my about the the topic for today. Uh, I hope that it really benefits uh, to to all of you. If not um, all some or maybe one at least i'm very happy if you use all my my tips uh, yeah my, the, the strategies and, and the, the knowledge that i'm sharing uh i wish you all the best yeah to the students um your academic journey uh and keep asking questions no problem it shows that you really want to improve yourself which is very good uh, about the questions yeah i'm worried that oh might be don't have uh, any question and whatnot it's good yeah so miss media no problem uh don't uh don't um um just uh you know uh texting keep texting me after this even though we already finished our 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 webinar here so don't worry i might uh, quite late in replying the, the your message you I mean because i have other classes and whatnot but still, I will I will answer the questions from the student. Yeah, I will. I, I love and I, I'm ha very happy uh, to to respond to all the questions uh, to from all of you. Yeah, so keep sending the mess uh, the, the questions to Miss Vidya. Um, and thank you very much, yeah, Miss Vidya, for for this uh, for this opportunity uh, with uh, your university. And I think we have a. Inshallah, hopefully, we'll, uh, you know, our session is a very great session. Uh, hopefully, you guys enjoy and learn a lot uh, from my from my session uh, today. I think that's all. Thank you very much. Okay, thank you. And before uh, what is the, uh, before we end this, or what is the, the uh, class? Uh, I hope that you guys turn on your camera so we have a photo session with Dr. Mansur because this is like the time that we all wait. Okay, please turn on your camera. So wait. And we will have Miss Riri from Office of International Affairs who will take a picture of you guys. So please make sure that you guys are visible to uh, what is that your camera. And also while waiting for the student to turn on their camera, uh, I am with you on the behalf of Office of International Affairs and also from my uh, what is that head of bureau, Dr. Andini, would like to say thank you for your attendance, uh, especially Dr. Mansur as our guest lecturer. Thank you for having your time. Thank you for taking your time to teach our student. It will be delightful to have you here again, perhaps in the next occasion. I hope that you don't mind to be our uh, special guest again, perhaps in the next different, uh, what is the settings in a different subjects, because in the next semester, perhaps I have, uh, I am in charge of cross-cultural understanding class, and it will be really, uh, what is that, delightful to have you here, and it will be lovely to have you to teach our student about cross-cultural understanding also i hope it will be okay for you and once again on behalf of office of international affair and also our head of bureau dr andini thank you and miss riri are you ready to take a picture sure okay guys please make sure that you are visible okay perhaps we can count it miss riri okay let me count it okay three two one Hold on. We have several pages, so bear with me. Yeah. Right. One, two, three, smile. Okay, third session. Three, two, one. Okay. Okay, is that all? Okay, thank okay. you, Ms. Riri from Office of International Affairs. I would like to thank you to our team also from Office of International Affairs. We have uh, Mr. Vicky and also Ms. Derta and also our crew like uh, Bu Erika and also our head of bureau, Dr. Uh, Andini. And also, once again, thank you for giving your time, Dr. Mansur. I would like to see you in the perhaps in the next occasion to have another session of international class. And that's yes. really beneficial for our students. Okay, thank you so much. And please uh, stay safe and bye bye. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.
Okay, thank you everyone. Bye. Yeah, bye bye. You can leave the Zoom. <laughs>